Yo, what is going on, everybody? Xanthus Vice here, and we are back with some more Trails to Azure. Hope you guys have a great day. Where we last left off, we had finally taken back Crossbell, conquered the Orcus Tower, defeated Dieter Croy, and the, uh, the White Ion, only to discover that Grimwood is supposedly the true mastermind, somehow. Still wondering how to... Like, how far did this, like, date back? I mean, it does seem like he's manipulated... Dieter Croy every step of the way, but like how did that come to be? And how did Maria Bell fall under his influence or why specifically? Is it because this would help uh fervor her ambitions to uh live up to the family name or is there something more? And that Arius was also like pledging his allegiance more to Maria Bell than Dieter? Even though it didn't seem that way with being Secretary of Defense. Well we're gonna see or hopefully we will try to see more of what's up with the entire situation and going to finally eliminate the uh, the Azure tree that we know of from uh, Trails of Cold Steel. So yeah, first of all, I need to get a whole bunch more items. I just need to check uh, how much more of specific items that I'll need before I do anything else. Okay, still have a lot of the purple liquids. Summer blend. Okay, I still have enough of the cutlet sandwiches. Be fine with that. I should probably get more Curia bombs though, because I will be needing that. So let's actually get that right now. Before I do anything else. So we are definitely going to need all that we can before the final battle. Where is it? Yeah. So we get 54. Ah, shit. Don't have enough money. Alright, let me exchange it real quick. I'm just going to use all the remaining Zebif that I have. Because all the slots are already full. I have the orbits that I want. I don't really have anything else I would need it for. I mean, at some point, if I do actually need it, well, then that's going to suck. But, I mean, come on. We're literally at the last location of the game. Hopefully by now. So it's like, what else would I need this for now? Besides, it's probably more significant to at least have these items when I do literally need them now. Because they're making it seem like I won't be able to go anywhere after this. Like, this is truly endgame. So, no way am I missing out on all this. Alright, 1,130. 1,196. Thousand one hundred forty. Or maybe I can go to Imelda's shop get a couple more things too, because it would be good to have... Oh, shit, I still had this much. Okay, might as well get rid of that too. Yeah, I'll keep at least a thousand K in the worst case scenario. There we go. Okay, good. He has the pentagon already. Alright, oh, I need to buy items, right? right? Let me go to Korea Bomb real quick. Yeah. Okay, good. Gonna have them take us to uh, Imelda's place. I don't know why it's like different color here, like a different pigmentation, but it doesn't matter to me. So, yeah, we can travel all the way back again. Alright, let's finish this quickly. I'm gonna also try to see, is, is there anything going on at the... Oh, okay, here he is. Forming a sweep of the building and its immediate surroundings right now. So far, he managed to unlock the door to the second floor. Check this to hope he doesn't have some evidence there. Oh, this thing. Yes! Finally! Dude, I've been waiting to open this damn door forever. I was like, there's gotta be something in there. Grimwood, why? Pete? Oh, it's you guys. Good day, SSS. Congratulations on your successful operation. Thanks, Detective Emma. Are you and your men searching the building? Correct. The First Division is combing the premises for any possible evidence, material witnesses included. Cool as it may seem, we're having Pete stand present for the investigation as Mr. Grimwood's ward and sole employee. No, it's okay. I want out. 
Yeah, I'm guessing that's also why he only had one employee here, too. It's that if he had more people here, there's potential that someone would have seen something, considering how many deals he would have made over time. Mr. Grimwood told me something before he left. It stuck me his odd, so I wanted to come and check it out. Huh? Yeah. He told me that once the situation with those magical golems was over, I should return to the office and clean out his desk. Clean out his desk? At first I thought he asked because he had to leave in such a hurry. But the thing is, even though cleaning the office is my responsibility, he always tells me to keep away from his desk. According to him, it's because there's sensitive material related to his work in there that I'm not supposed to see. Wouldn't it be sensitive enough that Mr. Grimwood wouldn't even allow you to go near his desk, though? Why would he make an exception and ask you to clean it now of all times? Well, I think we found the answer to that just a little while ago. Here. There must be a letter from him. May you read it? Dear Pete, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for leaving you with this letter so suddenly. After I took you in as both my ward and my assistant in my office, the two of us shared many happy days together. For years, I have been stricken with grief over one fateful day in my past, living for the sole purpose of bringing a certain pr project to fruition. I never thank you enough for changing that. There are moments when having you in my life made me second guess my path, but the wheels were already set in motion. It was too late for me to turn back. The project has turned to the point of no return. So please, Pete, forget about me and live the happy life that you deserve. I will pray to ideals from afar that you will grow into a bright young man that I know you can become. Mr. Grimwood. We seized any remaining documents we found in his desk. Among them was a lengthy instructional me memo on how to handle his clients moving forward, as well as procedural paperwork arranging for Pete's guardianship. Mr. Grimwood, why'd you have to do this? Am I supposed to be happy if it means forgetting everything he's ever done for me? Hmm. The fact that he even asked proves he is indeed a fool. Take it from me, one measly ass letter isn't gonna cut ties with everyone you're leaving behind. Exactly. Pete, we're gonna track down Mr. Grimwood, and then we're gonna shed a light on everything he's done. Bring him back to answer for it. Thank you so much, everyone. Please, take care of Mr. Grimwood. Interesting. Okay, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, I can't check the cabinets. I was hoping to actually read some specific information. Found some materials related to the alchemy of the Middle Ages, as well as the ancient Sumerian civilization. Look ancient. It's taking years to build up this collection. So how long has Ian Grimwood been planning all of this? But where we have gotten it from, like... It seems more like he approached it with the plan rather than Mariabelle doing it herself, right? Because then how would he be the mastermind? Even if he is, like, looking at it from politics, it's like, couldn't she just, like, use him as, like, the figurehead herself as well, just like with Dieter? Hmm. He discovered evidence of frequent communication to Orc's tower on this terminal. This must be where he masterminded his operations, issuing commands to President... Excuse me. Dieter Crow and his associates. Oh man, we didn't find anything specific. I was hoping to actually find something. Or have Tio hack into the system. That is crazy though when you think about it. Like, this guy masterminded it all? Like, seriously? That's honestly surprising to me. Wait, let me get 15 more of these. There we go. Oh yeah, I should see if there were actually Celestial Bomb EXs at times. If they actually have it, then I might actually have to grind for a bit. Let's see. Oh, issue 11. Gonna need that. Tear bomb. If you charge two. Oh, come on. You're telling me you still don't have Celestial Bomb EXs and that stuff? Come on. I need it. That is stupid. Alright. I'll take some ingredients just in case as well. Let's see, how many more do I need? For the matcha. I just take. Yeah. Before. Take. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need all the hot peppers. Nice. Thank 
aqui. But now I'm kind of wondering, did uh, all of Ouroboros know who the real mastermind was too? Because I would have to believe so, right? Because I mean... Hmm, but then again, we don't know if they also knew about uh, if Osborne was alive or not. So it's kind of hard to tell how all-knowing they really are. Because we don't really go into those kinds of lengths anyway. Hmm, it's so confusing. Get the sharp cheese for the light burger. Take this. Need more of the versatile onions. Oh yeah, I'm actually gonna need the ascorbic tomatoes. Should actually do need that. Or acerbic tomatoes, my bad. Okay. All right. Gonna check with Imelda. What does she have? Or get some more of the same stuff I already have. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna take another deep ocher. Another evergreen. Should I get? But this one has strength and pinch back weak and then this. Hmm. I'll just take one. Yeah, I think having at least two of these is good enough for now. So let me... Okay, so this is fine. The Rush. Evergreen's fine. Actually, let me give her Evergreen too. Yeah, increase that evasion. Okay. Alright, let me check at, uh, Can I go back to Orcus Tower? Oh no, wait. Actually, let me, is the CPD still available again? Because I need to see if uh, I can read any more of those doc, the quartz fragments that I have now. Because I have got, gathered some more, so. Okay, good. Yeah, hand over the fragments. All right, page four of Gnosis. But that's it. Oh, come on. All right, so we already know the first page. We've been through the second page. Third page. Okay, here we go. In secrecy, I collected the data from destroyed lodges and arrived in Crossbell, the land of origin. As plumber grass, the foremost ingredient for gnosis grows in abundance in the southern wetlands of Crossbell. There would never be a shortage of raw materials in addition to the highly advanced facilities once installed by the alchemists from the Middle Ages and the depths of the sun for I was blessed with an environment to continue my research and finish the secret remedy. I see. There was something else I found peculiar in the data. This passage on what purpose Gnosis serves. When the Yochim, the drug is capable of resurrecting their so-called true god, D. How could that be? Sounds too absurd to be true. Hmm. Was he perhaps not supposed to have it for himself, but he did that as a last resort, meaning maybe he was actually supposed to give Kia the Gnosis instead. And because she still at least had some kind of powers where it's like it tells her stuff like uh, when she learned how to cook and stuff like that, it would have heightened that sense and maybe she would have like reached close to her true identity and her purpose as a Septarian. I guess it wouldn't make sense because, again, it's like it's increasing the resonance with that and stuff. So it's like being able to reach that other dimension where her true power is. The cult had also been conducting those repulsive ceremonies over the course of 500 years. Fortunately, saved by God and the Embrys, but so many victims. Far more that can be given. Yeah, and he brushed it off with that whole, what a few sacrifices bit. He and the rest of those cult bastards. Keep on burning where they are. And now, even Vold is a victim of Gnosis. Right, the cult may be gone, but the dangers they created continue to spread. Can't forget that. 
police officers, we have a duty to ensure that Gnosis doesn't bring harm to Crossbow. Okay, page two of Divine Child. Damn it, there's still more? Come on. Okay, so I finished D and G, right? I'm just gonna check first. Yeah, okay, so we finished those. It said page two, right? Okay, here we go. For someone to live this long might be hard to believe for us mortals. However, I have seen it with my own eyes. Within the sphere, referred to as the sacred cradle, slumbers a little girl, a divine presence. The sacred cradle was created by the predecessors of our sect, based on the techniques alchemists had learned by studying artifacts. Meaning like those phenomena described as miracles, there was nothing miraculous to be found here. Oh, okay. Damn, so I'm not gonna find out what, what's the last one? Come on. Where am I supposed to find it anyway? Ah, whatever. Check Orchid's Tower. Oh, but where else here? Dude's on duty's arrest has already begun to make its way out of our board. Just be wary of how two major powers react. What's the current situation through our crossbow deputy commander? Understandably, the tree's appearance is causing panic and confusion across the state. And these citizens are also requesting transport to St. Ursula Hospital to the Barry's death. I'm instructed to second Lieutenant Morale to handle things on that end. Regarding transit to and from the cities, I've deployed squads on the highways as additional protection for traveling vehicles. As such, we're now able to escort far more people than we could have under the present restrictions. I see. Your timeliness is much appreciated. As for myself, I need to make a public appearance as Speaker Dia and explain the peasant's arrest. Preparations are currently underway at the Civic Center, correct? Yeah, we planned on wheeling out those monitor cars the president had during his big address. Officers here in the city can get them set up in a jiff if they divide a workload. Thank you, Chief Sergei. Remember, we mustn't let our guards down against the two major powers. I need each and every one of you to be careful as well. Sounds like Speaker McDowell and the others are busy putting out the fires all over Crossbow. Dang. Another car! Check it out. This car was moved here at the operation. I'm gonna have to stay here for a while longer. Yeah, we're sort of tied up with a statewide crisis at the moment. We can take it in for proper repairs once everything's settled. Definitely. Oh, I could have exchanged it here, motherfucker! Whatever. Man, if only I had known about this, I definitely would have come here instead. Oh, so all the monsters actually gone from here? I want to see if I can actually go back or not. Wait, can I actually? Wait. Oh my god, I can't come back. Well. I mean, might as well. I'm gonna get bored anyway. I mean, I know I don't really need more Zeppi, but even so. Well, eh, whatever. Nah, we'll just leave it for now. We'll probably just get it all back later. Oh, yeah. Let's go check uh, Dieter's office. Oh, no. This is the roof, isn't it? Yeah, wrong floor. 36th floor, right? And then I'll check the bottom floor. Oh, okay. Wait, which floor was Dieter's office again? Oh, no, that was one of these higher floors, wasn't it? Oh, I can't go here. Bitch. Come on. I want to go see if Dieter's office was hiding any secrets. Maybe... It, or maybe Mario Bill's room would have stuff. Nope, it's still the same stuff. Shit. I was hoping to get some more for the investigate. Oh no, that was the IBC. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, that was where the IBC was. Not, not here. This is Orcus Tower. This is something completely different.
Uh, let's see. So it's still the same as usual, then. So let's just let's just go back to the main floor. Yeah, I forgot the basement floor here is also different from the basement floor in uh, IBC. All right, where else can we go to check it out? Station Street? No, it's fine. The downtown district we already went before. Residential, the entertainment district. So we can go to the residential district. The Hayworth's back? Okay, good, they're back. Hello, SSS. Does my heart good to know that you're all safe? Did you just get back from America, Mr. Hayworth? I did. You left as soon as we saw the barrier around the city disappear. I'll be heading out the door again soon enough, though. Back to work so soon? Sure you don't want to chill with your family for a while longer? You haven't slept in your own bed for weeks. Maybe so, but I can hardly expect to get any rest when there are desperate crossbellers out there in need of help. I plan on making my way to mines first and continue from there. I see. You always were one to put others ahead of yourself, Mr. Hayward. As long as you promise to be careful, we won't stop you. Of course. I only ask that you do the same in return. May the goddess keep you out of harm's way. But yeah, I should also check the guild to see if Estelle and Joshua are still there. I thought this would finally be our chance to slow down and relax. But Harold does have a plans. Still, he wouldn't be the man I married if he weren't so thoughtful and hardworking. Helping up is what he wants to do right now, then he has my full support. Uh, this really is a loving family, and it's, at one point, it's kind of sad that Ren kind of was forced to leave this behind, but at least we can rest easy knowing that she has a family uh, as equally loving as the Hayworths and the Bright family. Okay. Let's check... Uh, Oh, okay, we can get back to the Markaba with this. I know there's probably not going to be any. Yeah, I was just wondering if there are quests here. Alright, let's see. I was going to check something else. So we've been here. Oh, yeah, the guild. Oh, bud, bye. I started playing the pom, -pom party horrible game the other day. You guys want to have a go at it? Yeah, besides a friendly little match, you free. Oh, what difficulty level is he gonna be? Oh, he's gonna be insanely difficult. Oh, it's Kilika. You were amazing earlier, Kilika. Seeing the Taito School's flying swallow with my own two eyes was nothing short of enlightened. Not often I get to brandish my chakrams. But it went better than I had anticipated. I can tell you've been training hard yourself, man. Compared to your spar eight years ago. A brand new martial artist. Much more capable one that. Hey Yukian, how you doing? We're in this three. Hardly, my technique is a ways to go. Nowhere near the level of mastery you and Zin have achieved. As much as I'd like to be. Being a dedicated pupil is a good start though. At any rate you're growing. You may be able to move the immovable in another year or so. He has yet to overcome his weakness for fair and tender maidens. Your sharp tongue could even make an A-rig bracelet like him look bad, Kilika. Okay, glad everything's working out for you, uh, Yuki. All right. See if So's in the middle of reconstructing his business out. Or I guess not. Yeah. Are they just still at the fort as usual? All right. Let's go back and travel into Merkaba. Alright, let's get back. Where to next? So I'll go to the ancient battlefield. See if So and crew are still over there. Oh no, right, it's this door. This is the side where you have to go. But that doesn't mean I'm still not gonna get free Zephyr from these guys. Oh yeah, I could also go to Knox Forest. Oh, actually, maybe I should go to Knox Forest at least. Because I still have to get that uh one chest there. Yeah. Okay. Wait, it was this way, right? Is this the path I'm supposed to be going? 
I said, think so. Yeah. I think this is the right path to get back to Sir. Oh, okay. Guess I can't, or they're not here. Damn, I was hoping they'd be here, and maybe he'd give me like another Zaren powder or something. But that's fine too. Oh shit. I didn't even mean to start a battle. The Shopee delivery service came to my house today, but sadly, mom didn't leave any money to pay them, and I couldn't get my Coastal 4 game back. Damn, finally. Nice! Wait, didn't leave any money to pay them. What do you mean, like, pay the service? Or, like, pay for the game? I thought it was, like, you just, um... You just pay online, and then you just get the item. <laughs> Is this like to ensure that you're actually paying for it and you're not like retracting it or something like that? Because I can see that as maybe like a, a precaution against like scams or something like that. Like honestly, that's the first time I've heard of it. Or is it like just to pay the delivery people for their service of delivering it? Let's go back. Pay for the game. My mom usually pay in person. Oh, okay. So you actually have to pay it in person for it, even though you're using a delivery service? Ah, huh. okay. I never even knew that was a thing. All right. So let me go first, see if we can get a Risha to visit Ilya at the hospital. If not, it's fine. Damn it. You still don't want to go. Oh, okay, good. We're doing something different. Wait, Risha. Why not come with us? The least you could do is hear Ilya's voice again. Hear her voice? You don't think you'll be ready to face her until the dust is settled, right? It's just how mom did... Oh, okay. So you had to do it, like, maybe under her account or something like that? Or is it that you don't have a card to pay with so then she does it that way? I get why you feel that way, and I respect your decision. But will standing outside of Ilya's room while we visit and hearing what she has to say go against that? Doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. We've already come this far. Can you reward yourself just a little? Yes. Keep in mind that our toughest battles are still to come. Ilya is one of the people you're fighting for. Surely we give you strength to hear from her. I don't see why not. As long as she doesn't see you and you don't speak of her, you wouldn't be going against your vow. Keep putting this off. It might be too late by the time you change your mind. Yeah, I, I can get away because uh, cause you were so close. I had the same thing happen for, uh, it was like a, for one figure that I had bought that I was so close to getting it, but it's like, I was like maybe 30 minutes away from home at the time. So it's like, by the time I got there, they had already left a while ago. And I'm like, damn it. I almost had the figure. So it's like, oh man, I hate that feeling. All right, let's go. But Ilya should be on the top floor, right? Well, where would Shizuku be in all this? We didn't see her at the guild. She still be in her room? Weird. Oh, okay, your little sister told her to come back. Okay. Well, at least you have that. I mean, it's better than just thinking, oh, okay, we won't know if when they'll come back so like whatever stay behind while you won't go inside of course whatever you're comfortable with trust us we won't let on that you're here i was wondering where all of you were you thought things would take a turn for the worse seeing some bizarre giant tree sprouted up from nowhere yeah the situation is complicated at the moment to hear the truth we don't have the answers ourselves as much as we like to, we can't say for certain that the hospital is safe either. Take care of yourself, Ilya. Pay for something to happen to you again. Don't even worry about me, Ellie. I don't know exactly what's going on out there. But I do know you kids are going to pull through. As long as you keep on fighting, the things that matter most to you are always in reach. Same goes for me. I'm not giving up until I take to the stage again. You're in the final act now, boys and girls. Get out there and finish what you started. Thank you, Ellie. Hell yeah. 
Nothing like a pep talk for the fervent dancer to get you raring to go. By the way, seeing someone over there who's so worried she just couldn't stay away. Am I right? Ilya, how did you... You could tell? I don't know who it is, but must be a shy little sweetheart. One who's ironically reserved in spite of startlingly perfect body of theirs. Doesn't know my ass. So much for not noticing her. Well, Misty Stranger, whoever you are, you should know that I've already started my rehabilitation. So you don't keep practicing, I'm gonna catch up and pass you again in no time. You don't want to be left behind. You'd better settle things quickly so we can finish what we started. One more thing. Take care. Look after yourself. So no matter how strong you are, you're still a young girl. That said, just like on our stage, there are some strengths that only a woman can show. As long as you remember that, I'm sure you'll be fine. Sorry, Ilya. Well, I think I've taken enough of your valuable time for one visit. Though I better be careful too, little guy. I don't want to find that you made my darling Cecil cry, you know. We won't. Wouldn't dream of it. How are you an apology, Risha? I never imagined she'd be able to notice you from outside the room. You were trying to conceal your passage with that magical yin hoo ha, weren't you? How the heck did she catch on? Simply put, this is a genius. She probably knows me from the sound of my footsteps and the pattern of my breaths. After all, synchronizing our breathing is something we used to doing when we performed. Or well, she could be this sharp and attentive to things unrelated to the stage, too. She can be a little untidy behind the scenes. Such things are what we have come to expect from Ilya. She really is full of surprises. Yes, those are just what I needed to strengthen my own resolve. I'm ready, everyone. Let's go. Right there with you. Let me step it away. Oh, that was nice. Nice little pep talk before the next battle. Yeah, Cece, what's with this depressing music here? Like, come on, we saved the day! The hospital's fine! Maybe she's out looking at the river? Or not? So this is where you were, Cecil. Hello, Lloyd. I had to come out and have a look at the tree for myself. Never seen anything like it. The sound of it is completely alien, yet somehow soothing, almost. Interiorly so. It pains me that I can empathize. But I'll be seeing the tree is key itself. Put that way, maybe it's not such an inexplicable feeling after all. Say, Lloyd, you're all headed there, aren't you? That's right. Somewhere in that tree, we'll find Kia, as well as the truths we've been looking for. No matter how dangerous it may be, we can't turn back now. We have to keep moving forward. I understand. If I'm being completely honest, I want nothing more than to keep you here with me, away from danger. Two years ago, I lost someone I loved very dearly. I can't bear to go through that again. Cecil. But I know if Guy were here with us today, he'd be doing the exact same thing as you. He would leap into action without a second thought to protect what was most dear to him. You're right. That being the case, I want you to promise me one thing. You'll come back safely. With Kia's smiling face and tough. If you can give me word on that, I'll stay right here, waiting patiently for you to return. It's a promise. Just give us some time and we'll be back before you know it. This is going to be our most difficult battle yet, but we will prevail. That's right. What is going to stop us from bringing Kia home? We've also got to be some sense to Arya's too. I suppose somebody has to. Thank you, everyone. We can be at ease now. As a little symbol of our promise, I want you to have this. What's this? Pressing God gave to me when I took my final exam in nursing school. Whenever I felt I need in need of his personal brand of strength and courage, I just take the pen in my hand and clutch it. It's precious to me, so as part of our promise, I want you to bring it back safely with you. It'll be our honor. We'll make sure to return this once everything's settled. Alright, Valiant Heart. Oh, 100 stat on everything. Uh, damn, I would like to have this, but can't really use it for much. Shit. But this already gives me Team Rush Up, so I don't really need another one, right? 
Unless it means just Randy's team rush, but I'd like him to have more strength in case. You know what? I'll give it to Randy. We need to boost his stats more. We need to make it even more of a tank. Alright, now, the last thing we need to do is get this damn chest that knocks for us. Like, seriously, I need it. It's the last thing I need. Is that you, SSS? Thank God you guys are all safe. Same to you, Juan. It's a relief to see you're holding up all right. Ponda Metropolitan Division has taken post here from the look of it. Wasn't this place occupied by the Defense Force? That's right. They withdrew after learning that the prisoner was taken into custody. All the chaos has broken out around the state, leading them to place their full attention on settling things down. Once they cleared out reinforcements from police HQ arrived to help squashing and lingering disturbances here. Good to hear. Hey, Juan, if I don't mind asking, what happened to old Garcia? That's right. He was Lord's accomplice during his daring prison escape, wasn't he? I really owe him one for lending a hand. Wait, what am I doing? I just admitted to my guilt at the scene of a crime. Actually, your detainment was deemed unlawful the moment President Crow was apprehended, so no harm no foul. No need to wear your head over it at all, especially when there are far more pressing matters at hand. As far as Garcia goes, he put up a fight against the Defense Force and was eventually restrained. We have him back in his old cell where he's currently undergoing treatment. Treatment? If he fought the Defense Force alone, he must be exhausted to the bone at the very least. He's going to be bedridden for some time, yes, but if you'd like to visit him, I can arrange for that. What do you say, Lauren? Should we? Let's do it. I should thank Garcia for what he did for me back then. Yeah, appreciate that, Juan. Sure thing. I'll have Melvin, Melvin guide you there. Visitation is 10 minutes maximum. As the MA is currently injured, you have been granted special permission to greet him in a cell. Keep in mind that making direct contact with the incarcerated party or exchanging objects of any kind is strictly prohibited. Understood. Alright then. Rossi, you have visitors. Send them in. Never thought we'd see this guy again, but I'm glad he's fine though. Ingress here. <laughs> we meet again, kid. Good to see you managed to round up your pals. Whoa there, big fella. You sure you should you sure you should be sitting up right now? I've heard you had a pretty nasty run in with the defense force. <laughs> I've been better. Wouldn't exactly call a bare knuckle brawl against rifles and stun halberds stacked in my favor. Hell just sitting up was a struggle. What an embarrassment I am. Given what you endured, the fact that you can move at all is impressive. After seeing what a killing bear can do firsthand, I'm not surprised. That said, this appears to be the extent of his range of motion at present. I still owe you my thanks, Garcia. You hadn't helped me escape this place back then. Not sure how I ever would have found my friends, let alone make it this far. <laughs> you came all the way here just to say that. I told you, a little partnership was over the second we got past the front gate of the prison. In my eyes, you're still the punk bastard who took down Ravash. That ain't ever gonna change. Got it. So you say, but that doesn't mean I can't express my gratitude. Thank you, Garcia. Because you and all of us are together again. No matter we are, we're gonna reach the truth, solve the incident, and protect Pro Prospo. Promise you that. <sighs> Makes me sick to my stomach how much you remind me of him. I see it in your eyes. Tenacity. The way he wouldn't throw in the towel no matter what anyone said. Or how hard his ass got beat. A spin image of your brother, Bannings. Through and through. Damn, old man. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <sighs> Can't believe you got me to say that sappy garbage out loud. Don't you have somewhere else to be right now? Can't make good enough promise you're hanging out here. So go on. Beat it. Right? I get the message. Let's go. Damn. Old Bear is holding it together a lot better than I thought he'd be. You're right. I'm sure he'll be fully recovered and back on his feet before long. Still, the real surprise was seeing Garcia Rossi of all people dish out a pep talk. He's definitely changed since we first met. With all the crazy things he's gone through this year, it only makes sense. What? Why y'all look mate like that? 
the way he said that. Do you sincerely believe it has nothing to do with you? Well, it does have that kind of effect on people. Huh? Come on, man. Being a baby-faced lady killer is one thing, but did you seriously become a bear tamer when you were behind bars, too? Some things never change. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, she's here again. Oh, hey, SSS. Heard you guys were the ones who managed to liberate the city. And now you're off to finally put an end to all the turmoil here in Crossbell. I think you're headed to that giant tree that rescued Kia, aren't you? Yeah, we are. I'm guessing Maria or Sonia caught you up on all of that. Even then, you seem to be quite familiar with Kia's circumstances. I've had a lot of time to bond whenever I go pick up Ken and Nana Sunday school. Oh, okay, so she has younger siblings who went to Sunday school with Kia. Okay, fair enough. I can't believe what they put her through, propping her up as some divine child or whatever after we became independent. It's not like I fully get everything that's been going on or why, but I know she's waiting for you to come rescue her. Just do us all a favor and bring her home. Give her an extra hug from me too. But I love her like the Kia and the SSS have touched. Thank you, Juno. I think we need to hear that. Kind of fulfill our duties to the best of our ability. Can you make sure I do the same, okay? Right. You just leave it to me. I'll help out on the ground however I can. Aw, oh, that's nice. Hmm, so what happens to all the other people who were part of the uh, Defense Force? Do we put them under arrest directly or not? Eh, they'll probably figure something out. We're not really here for as much of the political situation. Alright, where's the damn ch- No? Oh, okay, here we go. Damn. Oh, right, it was the other way. Yeah, because I remember it was, like, in one, like, little corner. Yeah. Give me a sec while I go get it. What? what the hell? Why'd that one take long? Maybe different levels again. Like the elevation. Oh, here we go. Alright, first. Get a save real quick. There we go. Alright, let's go. What the heck is this? Oh, oh god. Help me. Alright. Oh, it's following Tio. I see. That's how it's working. Hmm. It would give me 60, but would that really help, though? Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just use this anyway. Shit. Fuck. No. No. Fuck. Shit. Oh, Tia's frozen. That's why she can't do anything. Whoops. Yo, enough already! Stop it! Alright. Oh god, that's not gonna do anything. Crap. Alright, fine. Give the, uh... Give it a tear, please. Next, we need to unfreeze Tia. Just the water. There we go. Alright, I can just move. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Alright, let's take another tier of all. Sweet. Yo, enough with targeting her, okay? Is that enough? Oh, God. Alright, give her another one of these. Okay, now I think I can use War Cry. There we go. Okay, can I give her a warmer again? Nope, not in reach. 
come on. Oh, it didn't do impede. Well, at least I had it. Alright, give it a warmer again. No, don't freeze her again. Oh, fuck you. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Okay, at least we get- No! God damn it, we got it again. Oh no, he's frozen too. Okay, he's gone. Fuck. No. Stop it. Shit. It's not good. Um, yeah, just heal him real quick. No, please don't feel- Okay, good. Oh my god. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, yeah. Please. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, at least everyone's fine. Thank you. Good. Come on. Oh, I should do a. Uh... There we go. What? I didn't impede move! What the fuck? That's bullshit. Come on. Damn it. Fuck. Shit. Okay, that's enough. Ah, uh, I wanted them to level up too, but I couldn't. What? I got like nothing! What the fuck, man? There were six of those things! Mercury Bell. Low brace to go. Yes, the chest grabber is right here in front of you. Shut up. Oh, that was bullshit. Mercury. Really? That's all I freaking get? That is bullshit, man. Okay, what, what does it do? It better also give me health. I'm always gonna be pissed. Oh, can act immediately using water. Oh. Hmm. I mean. Could just change that with heal. Wait, can I? We need two cords of the. Oh, water jam. Ah. Oh. What? Come on. But I need this. I need the max HP at tw plus 25%. Are you kidding me? Or maybe I should replace that for someone else with the. Uh... No, but they already have the Mars belt too. Shit. I don't really have anyone else I can give this to. Man, it's kind of a waste, though. Cause I like having a max HP for Tio. But then again, she does die pretty quickly, but I we kind of need that HP for her, because she has the lowest HP out of all of us. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? It probably is for the best that I do that anyway. Wait. Oh, it's this it's this thing uh no I, I can't take that off i actually literally can't i need it nope can't do that sorry like look i know you're gonna say like oh then just give it to uh to him but it's like at the same time it's like am i really gonna use wazi in battle i mean maybe Depends on the circumstances. But then I'd be getting rid of it. No, but I could just switch out the, this. And, but what would I even put here instead? I, I don't really have anything good that I'd want to put. Unless I uh, take his Heaven's Eye instead. But then he has the... Uh... I know, it's only that I can't have two bells, right? If that's the case, then I guess I could do that. By taking his Heaven's Eye. Hmm... She's our best uh, mage right now. I can't really, like, get rid of- Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. Mmm. Okay. I'll see what the situation calls for. Because, again, yeah, I would like to, t to have Tia immediately do the healing and Aqua Mirage and all that. But, it's like, at the same time, it's the- Oh, hey, Rin Yuef. What's going on? Yeah, I'm just doing some, uh, just some basic last minute catching up before, uh, going to the tower. I mean, to the tree. 
like going to visit some people, getting the last chest that I need, or at least the high difficulty ones. Okay, let me check. Okay, yeah, that one's gone. So that's the only one that I was missing. Okay, let's go to Crossbow City first. Okay, let's heal up real quick. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. But then again, Aqua Mirage has helped us a lot, and we do need the dodge ability pretty quick and the heals. Hmm. Let me check real quick. I wanna make sure of something. What do I need for Celestial? Oh, I need 18. And eight. No, I can't do that. I can't do that then. Because I need that. And I have 18 right now because of... Uh... Oh, yeah, because I also have Mobius. Wait, what happens if I take out... Okay, if I keep Mobius, eight. And then four. And then four. No, that's, that'd be 16. That wouldn't be 18. Yeah, I, I actually can't do that. I have to keep it. Yeah, as much as I would like to... It'd be better if I had two of them instead. Okay, good. Restored EP. Should have everything ready now. And you know what? We're just gonna go for it. I wanna go. Yeah, to the Azure Tree. Yeah, I bought everything I need. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh, let me check your comment. Why don't what makes the whole social class doesn't matter? It doesn't work with class 7. Most of them are basically in Thor's or specifically in class 7 because of who they are. The class is. Only Reen, Emma, and Crow had the semblance of a normal person. That is true when you think about it. Because every people had too many like sp super special circumstances. Like, Milliam already being an iron blood and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, I can see. Wait. What? Oh, that's the... That the Red Constellations airship. Damn it. We might have to make the emergency landing. Oh, I, I would have just said this is what Osborne promised them because that's what I'm kind of questioning. It's like, what exactly was the, uh, what were the term? like we know what the terms are, but what were they uh, going to get out of it? Because Randy had asked him, is it worth it? And he's like, beyond a doubt. So it's like, what did he get from Osborne? Because if this is something he actually got from uh, Mario Bell, then what did he get from Osborne? I'm so confused here. How many of them? Is, is it? My bad. How many of them? Ivory's child is someone in Porn Ridge. Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Marcus, Jesus, Fia, Milliam knew someone in Porn. Guys. Yeah. Damn it, this reminds me of those stupid bombs crow, crow threw at us when he was still sea. Yes, 
から捕まえて白兵戦に持ち込んでやるつもりだったが我らもまだ空中戦の連動は不足しているということだろうまああとはシグムント様たちに任せておけばいいへっお嬢さんスクランチョウが羨ましいぜあんな都合そうな場所で
God damn it. They're still doing the same thing. Motherfucker. Okay, fine. Then I'm still going to keep the same team because, again, it's like, aside from attack orders, which also gives me defense, Lloyd kind of already gives me that. But then again, his heal also gives me a, what's it called, CP. But I can't take out Ellie then. Because I would love to take out Ellie and then put him in here. Because I do need Accelerate. I'm just going to keep the team as is. I'm going to snap as many photos of this giant tree as I can while we're still in the thick of it. Then once I get back, I'll have to write an expose about the truth behind this whole incident. So what I'm saying here is, get going, solve this case once and for all. The greatest three-page feature that ever graced the Crossbell Times depends on it. Yeah, yeah. I harbor no doubts that Kia is somewhere inside the giant tree. The sensor within its deepest, furthest depths, accompanied by the Croy's woman and the puppet master of Aloy. You require my assistance, so please have Tio call for me. Thanks, Zay. Guessing everyone else is still just in the ship. Alright, well, let's go. Man, they put so much attention to detail here. This looks so cool. Why is that thing? That looks like one of those uh, kind of like earthbound prototype mo monsters from a Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. What? Hey! What? Can I not hit him? The fuck? No, don't follow me. Okay, there we go. Try this again. Okay, there we go. I don't know why Tia's magical. Oh, it has this music again. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can't hit him. At least not with Tia's attacks. Let's try Power Smash, see what happens. Oh, it does have the resist. Oh my! Did he just one hit Risha? No, come on! That is bullshit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No, stop it. Dude, why are we missing so much already? Is this evasion just that fucking good? Alright, I haven't done anything yet. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna do a burst. Fuck this. Alright, I'm just gonna analyze for now. Okay, here we go. Zero night. A being born from the Holy Precinct's power swings his peerless blade as a, an ancient divine knight. Might. Ooh, I guess let's see a bomb EX and EP charge 3? Yeah, give me that. Alright, go. There we go, level 100. Oh, I didn't get the item. Bullshit. A mirror? Or stun? Wait, man, to be here. Wait, didn't we have something? Did we have something like this, like where it reflects my thing? Yeah, I knew it. It reflects magic. I figured. Alright, this. Shit. Okay, get rid of this thing. Good. Yeah, tear it, please. Your material? Great. Like, I'm gonna use that now. I don't know if this is a trap chest or not, so I just have to save just in case. Oh, there we go. There's my Celestial Bomb EX. I would've liked it from the monster and then get this too. But whatever. Just gonna do this is... Yeah, these people will also never grow, not only because they have pampered treatment, but because they were never pushed to grow. With all of Elise's complaints, she took a job at Ryan for it. No way his perception would change their challenge. I only... While Gureen, the most depressing kind of pushover, and when Jesus actually grew because nobody was like, you're the best, we love you, or jealous, and my sister Celine counts, glowed at her, and Jesus' own father calls himself useless, and his brother megalomaniac. Not to mention a character-focused thing doesn't work well with trails when the value of a character is depending on their role in the world. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of like they're ignoring the whole point. There we go. Don't tell me, this is another mirror, isn't it? A moon gate. 
magical conduit that links world. Bizarre phenomena occur when it opens up. All I hear is please destroy it. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, it's still fine. Um, let's go with Death Storm. Yeah, I just have to. I'm not risking it. There we go. Almost everyone's level 100. Now we just need Ellie to... Oh, it's this stupid statue thing again. I fought this from uh, one of the uh, the level 100 chests. Uh, it kind of moves like a chess piece. It's neat. Yo, turn around. Damn, this thing is slow. I can't tell. Is it actually following me or not? Doesn't look like it. Oh, come on! Would not have. Dude, how does it know I'm here? Fuck off. Come on. I want to see what that crystal is supposed to do. I bet it's like a switch or something, right? Come on, dude. Get away. Dude, how is he always doing this? No, that's stupid. Okay, that's just dumb. Great. Fuck you too, dude. Muscular <laughs> defense, so everything has tropes and plot holes. It's the execution of it. No, it's true. It's like they can't just fall back on that as a reason for like literally everything. Because then you could literally make that same idea for like every uh, story that a person makes. That of course there's going to be flaws. I mean, yes, if you're talking in regards to human, sure. But it's like you edit it as much as possible. You take all the time for it. They're, if all that time and execute that you put into it, the execution at least has to equal that value. You can't just amount to like almost nothing at that point. You say the the purpose of having that time in the first place. No, right, let's go for a dark magic. Oh, they have to go to this game. Alright, let's try Silver Thorn. Oh, okay, there we go. Found a weakness. Right. Courage. Let's go for a Silver Thorn again. There we go. Now Ellie's level 100. Touch it. Oh, okay, yeah, so it does. It does link a path. Cool. Oh, that was for that side, I see. Oh, okay, so then I guess these red ones are trap chests. Not the best preemptive attack, but I'll take it. Let's go with an absolute zero. Oh yes, they can actually get frozen for the first time. An opponent that my effects actually work against. Alright, next. True Dragon Claws. There we go. Let's go for a raging spin. Spin, baby, spin. This one. There we go. Too easy. What? Uh, this, this looks like the same robot, but just longer. Oh, it's kind of transparent, isn't it? Oh, it is kind of transparent. Another one. Wow. How meta. An alternate self from a separate dimension. Making contact results are total- Oh my god. That's scary. Hmm. Oh wait. Fire, so... Just use a fireball for now. Let's have Lloyd do a fireball. And... 
This shouldn't count as touching. Okay, good, it didn't. <sighs> okay, I was scared for a second. Alright, let me save in the event that this literally is a trap chest. Oh, a quartz fragment! Is this the last page I needed? Oh my god. Then I actually can't go back. Uh, but do I want to, though? That's the, that's the bad part of this. No, well, fuck it. Alright, screw it. The courage. Okay. Like with Crossbow, I felt like a lot of time and care was put into its story and world. Meanwhile, Coastal Cast are so narcissistic that those that most of them don't even have opinions on the events of the story or on Air Bunny's culture. They don't talk about them. Hell, I'd say social stuff works better in these two games. Yeah, honestly, like, you definitely feel more of the connect between other characters, even those you don't see, like, being a likely scenario. Like, we just had the one with, uh, Lloyd and Garcia. You would think they'd never see eye to eye because they were enemies, but it's like, in their own way of their pride, there was some connection to it. And that's what, that was really awesome. Because he gave him a push that Guy wouldn't have given him, his friends wouldn't have given him either. He gave Lloyd a push that was like a real wake-up call. Like a real slap to the face. And again, that moment between Arisha and Ilya was also really nice as well. It's like, if you had more moments like these in Cold Suit, at least you could say, like, their character is better developed. But you just didn't see that as much. It just seemed kind of like just basic stuff and nothing too deep into it. At least in comparison, I don't know. Maybe Trosu Cold... Maybe Cold Suit 3 and 4 would be a bit more out there, but I don't know. Two Dragon Claws. Um... Shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. Shit. Yeah, either way, one of them is gonna be alive. No, I messed up. I was supposed to hit. Like, Elisa's family dynamic is less to do with her mom's practices and more to do with being a spoiler by complaining about mommy being a CEO. People complain about CEOs being corrupt, but the moment you have one, takes their job seriously people still complain yeah it's like it's a no-win situation there even though it's like they're trying their best at like to succeed in life like they had aimed towards through the entire time so it's like then i'll say to complain about that but then again it's like you can't just say oh that's always gonna be like a good thing or something yeah, give me the burst right, i'm gonna heal everyone while i still can I'll have Tio here, Lloyd. Nice. There we go. Choroi, choroi. What did Randy say? Shit. Okay, there we go. Nice. And I'll encourage again. Yep. Go for absolute zero two. Nice. Dragon Claw. Never team rush. Nice. Too easy for this team. Because you know, I also like how like more diverse this team is with their capabilities rather than uh in a treasure cold steel because i think you made a good point like similar to like the idea that so many people had like bladed weapons i think it's the same thing like because of that a lot of their styles weren't really that like different it seemed like of a similar like school but just like a different branch and it's like okay then there's almost like nothing different between one character except like a bit different and like a stat or something but here because it's only like this the like seven to eight characters it actually works for this not to mention the job is with is involved with the government thanks to the military it also makes the whole warmonger thing dumb when you realize one they are a main tech conglomerate two everybody's a dictator yeah ain't that the truth let's heal randy real quick and true dragon claws and a power smash. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, that's what I was going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot this was here. Go for this. Navini. Go for it. I'm just glad using a team rift doesn't count as actually touching it. Okay, I'll take the 200. Oh, right, I have to read the chest while I can. Quick idol. You have to get to the center of the great tree of origins before. Oh, wait, sorry, wrong tree. Oh, I see. Yeah, because we're in a freaking tree. Nice. Okay, gotta wait for it to turn around. Perfect. There we go. Damn it, we missed. Alright. Come on, finish it. Nice, Randy. Dang. This. Oh, I actually can't turn to look. Probably because there's like too much going on. There we go. Yep. All right. Get to this one. Thank you. Let's do it quick first. Here, Randy. Thank you. There we go. You didn't lose too much. Come on. To the left. Yep. That's just what I've been waiting for. There we go. Oh my god, what? Okay, this has to be a trap chest then. Or at least more than the other one. Alright, I'm ready. What is it? Yeah. These stupid things again. There we go. Try it again. Then we go for this. Come on. Aw, oh, damn it. You get rid of that many. Shit. Enough. Stop it. About time you guys were done. Hey, there we go. Another raging spin. Oh, yeah. It's too easy. Oh, yeah. 101. Oh, sweet. Warcry 2. Wait, seriously? Oh, a rift gem. These two games have been a big part of my life for five years. I'm not saying what future projects I'll take part in, but it's going to be hard to surpass the satisfaction I feel for these two. JJL. Okay, what was that gem again? Just have me check. It wasn't Pluto, right? Something else. Oh, Shackle. Oh, I could do that. Didn't even know I had that. Oh, the Rift gem. Cancel enemy arts and crap. What? Holy shit. Oh my god. That would be amazing. Hmm. I could give it to Lloyd. But which one would I take off? Hmm. Maybe the Topaz gem. Oh no, I'd have to get rid of a bell, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, I had to get rid of a gem, okay. Yeah, but I'll get rid of this one. Dude, a chance to actually do that? What? What What do you mean two of the same chords? A type? Wait, type? Alright, let's say I get rid of it. Oh, impede. That's the problem here. I see. I was so confused. Can't have two of the same type. Yeah, because Impede is almost the same as Rift Gem. I see. That's fine. Wait, do I get... Oh, I don't have Holy Rift. Okay, but I still have Recuria. Okay, good. As long as I still also have that, I'm fine. Sorry, I didn't see here. That and the weapons are carried in crossbow for most of the reference their personalities and occupation. Better, I'd say, the way Reen, Emma, Juices, and Crow's weapons e exist, represent them well enough. Represent 
Reen represents his desire to control his power, Emma being her culture. Juzus is upgrading his social class, much like Chloe from the sky. Crow's weapon represents his personality, flashy, flashy and deceptive. Yeah, that's true. When you think about that, like this one, the Crossbell games really do a better job at characterization and sticking with that idea than Cold Steel. No, I'm dead. Fuck. All right, give me a sec. This is why I had all those items in the first place. I just used a reviving ball. I need to use all my best stuff right off the bat. Like, I'm pretty sure they gave him a bigger gun in Crow's right hand to hide the fact that Crow would hold his dual blade in his left. Yeah. another way of like him deceiving others oh shit i can't escape even or i could but the chance is pretty low all right yeah let's go for the burst i have to oh my god all right let's go for go for another dark knight oh no i forgot damn it i forgot that was gonna hit me Okay, that was on me. I should have remembered that from the beginning. Alright, let me use Telus real quick. Damn it, I can't believe I completely forgot that mirror was still there. I'm so stupid. Shit, I really am running out of this stuff. Maybe I should buy more Celestial Bombs when I get back. But then again, I can just grind for all this stuff separately. Once I get close to the end. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Before we get close to, like, the end game. Then I'll get those items I need. Now I'll get away. Okay, there. Come on, Tio. You can't miss that. Okay, this should be enough. Nice. New class has more variety. Gun foes, gun plus taunt foes. Clam Soleus, Altina's doll, Polax, and Scythe, Ash. Oh, okay, cool. Horrible Rifle, Music, or Muse. And Dual Blades, Kurt, aka Male Laura. Yeah, it's like, at least that one, it's like, from the way it sounds, it already sounds like pretty distinct from OG Class 7. Icicle Edge. But then again, Tia Salty. Yes, another Celestial Bomb EX. Give me. See, this is where it's like grinding will be okay, because I actually do need it. Hmm, but the problem is, will there be a boss here? Oh, okay, not. Cool. I will say, there isn't too much going on with this area, but at the same time, it's like. We've already seen enough flashy stuff from Arcus Tower and all that, so it's like, I'm completely fine with this. With how it looks. Like, honestly, I don't have a single problem with it. True Falling Moon. Just go Dragon Balls again. Regular attack. There we go. Let's go Raging Spin. Nice. I fill up the gauge. Okay, here we go. Let's go for it again. Next true dragon claw. Go for this again. Nice. Okay, here's a chest. No, keep turning around. Damn, this thing is so damn slow. Come on! I was out of that view. Dude, I'm hitting you! What the fuck is going on? Nope. 
Okay, here we go. Finally. Damn, that took way too long. Courage. Let's go for a talisman against this one. Now let's go for an absolute zero. Go for a bird step. Alright, time. Clan of the Edge now. Oh yeah, I just re I don't really have anyone with a time here. That would have been uh Wazi. I kind of actually forgot about that. Thank you. Nice. Come on. There we go. There we go. EP Charge 3, yes. Alright, what does this say? Zero set the chest in her palms, the newest letter nestled between them and the chest bottom. Then lean just. So the foreheads barely touch, I suppose he whispered, take care, Genevieve. Nice. There we go. And once again, Ice School Edge, and then Teal Randy actually had a turn this time. Well, whatever. Fish out for tea. Oh, okay, good. Shoot Jeff Crawls. Go to absolute zero. Nice. Power smash. Now the team rush. Easy work. Come on. And a curio. Old class ever should have just been Reen, Emma, Jesus Crow, and Milliam solely for the fact that one, she's an iron blood. Two, need a fourth character for when Crow leaves. Teacher probably should have been Oliver. Yeah, to be fair, I feel like Oliver would have been a good teacher because it's like he's more open minded, you know, and his experiences with uh the continent through his uh, experiences in uh, Trails in the Sky and also uh, with the formation of Class 7 as well. So that he probably would have been a better person to look forward to. Oh, hey, Yuki. Welcome back. If I stream Kosu 4, will you come and watch me? Of course. I'll definitely be there. No problem. Uh, let me know when you think you're going to stream Kosu 4. And look, I'm almost close to Kosu 3. So. I don't really care as much if it spoils me, because look, I already get spoiled on like Trails in the Sky because of these games, me just doing it whatever order I want. Or even if far later you decide to do it, Yuki, I'll definitely be there for the streams, no problem. Yeah, you can definitely message me on Twitch. Or, uh, actually, I'm thinking of making a, a Discord at some point for like my followers. So when I get around to it, I will make a, an open Discord and link it on this channel. Oh, awesome. You also have a Discord. Nice. So yeah, I'll probably make a Discord for uh, anyone who just wants to chat. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be relevant to the games I play, but it could also be like recommendations or just chat. I'd definitely be cool with that, and you can let me know on anything like that, or I can even follow you on Discord or something like that. But yeah, I'll definitely be there for it. Uh, Trails close to your 4 gameplay, no problem. Because I'm definitely... From what I saw, it's like, you're already doing decently well at Close to 3, so definitely beat it for 4. And yeah, it's true, uh, Rin UEF, back to what you said. I feel like Oliver is probably a better teacher because he does have a better idea of what's going on in the background. While as Sarah, she's just like keeping it all hidden, you know? Like, I get the idea of trying to get them to experience the world, but it's like, in some cases, they're still kids. They're going to still need help, so it's like... I don't think a bit help from a teacher is as much of a problem, especially in the state of a war. Like, come on. I feel like that's stretching a bit too much of the trust value in there, if you get what I mean. I appreciate you helping me out in chat as I stream. First time playing this game. Oh no, definitely, no problem. 
Uh, wh but wait, what do you mean is like, uh, help out in the chat? Like, like in regards to like gameplay, or do you mean like the story, or like just uh, how you do stuff? I, I'm kind of, I kind of don't understand. Yeah, it's like regardless, I'll still be there, no problem. I mean, I may not always be to, like, to every single one, because it would be dependent on my schedule, but it's like, hey, I'm not always following my schedule either. My schedule is a bit estranged as well. Just because whenever I have free time, I just choose to stream. But I still try my best to do it at least on the days that I have set accordingly. But when you have trouble, yeah, sure, no problem. Like, definitely, like. If it's hard for like fighting a boss or something like that, or even just like regular manager problems, I'll do the best of my abilities. Sure. Green UEF says, Green Emma Crow Juice and Millium also represented something of Erebonia. Green and Crow being the victims of Erebonian culture, Emma being its history and mystery, Juice being the politics, and Millium is the military. Yeah, that is true, because it's like if you take away the, all the other characters, these individuals represent the best of like those areas. Like, some people would probably say Elliot, but that's pretty weak in regards to the military because he didn't even, he didn't really care about it, you know? He just wanted to detach himself from it. So I was like, are you sure you want to count that as well? It's like, what do you do with that information then? It's like Machius kind of said the same. Yeah, I wouldn't say the best. I would say they are the most in-depth part. Yeah, like definitely. Like, again, there are some like, uh, there are some character flaws with them, but it's like it's the best you're gonna get in regards to that situation. And getting those perspectives as you can. Oh my god what? Oh come on. Alright, let me save here. There's a guardian beast. You better not tell me that after this there's a boss, or I'm gonna be pissed. Because you say for example, I go here and then I fight Shirley. That'd be stupid. Because then you I've wasted all my CP and stuff. Great. Yeah, you gotta let them walk to me. Um. Okay. Yeah, gonna get rid of all these guys first. But how should I do? Yeah, there we go. And then I get Risha. There we go. Oh, he has a breath attack too. Okay, I see. I see where you're going with this. Alright, right, let's get this over. Okay, uh, I bet. Plus, given all of its connections with the Vanders and the fact he's an Arnor. Oh, yeah, he's an Arnor. You could still use Nor, just call it a military testing ground now. Yeah, it's true. It's like they didn't have to go to that extent. If it wasn't going to have that, like, as much depth to it, but you just still needed to at least mention the area anyway, you know? I definitely agree where you're coming from in that sense. I just definitely agree with that. I think we all agree with that point. Okay, so I believe so. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, let's use a battle scope. I haven't used those in like forever. A golden chimera. A large golden cryptid in the form of a lion. The shaking of its mane distorts space and time. Of course. Alright, so I need mirage and space. Okay. Perfect. I have just the people for it. Too easy. Oh, wait. Yes, Fortuna. I forgot about it. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm ready. Wait, it said fire too, right? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Right, guy in tower next. A galley tower. Okay, come on. We're almost there. Good, just use a photon shot. There we go. Ooh, Phantom made a big jump. We are so close to hitting level 4. Come on. I mean level 5. Yes, level 102. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, 102 is across the board. Oh, sweet. Orin too. 
Um, yeah, let's set it as Esprit 2. Oh, and I got a first orb from that. Nice. I'm gonna save real quick. Well, that was at least easy. Uh, okay. First, let me read a Renew EF second to last comment. I'd imagine if he was the one to hear Reen calling himself a failure to eight leaves, he say things about life being too short to doubt yourself and you live the best of your ability. Yeah, because it's true. Because it's like, it's the same thing for like, uh, I mean, I haven't gone through as much in Trails in the Sky, but I feel like he would have had like the same impact as like for Estelle and Joshua, considering the people they've met and stuff. And it's like, he's one for seeing progress being made and how difficult it is. Like seeing the progress go at a natural pace and not just being like, Oh, okay, the situation demands you get to it automatically, you know? Like, it definitely lives up to that. And for my first... Uh, okay, yeah. All right, you be second last comment. And for my first playthrough for Cold Steel 4, who do you want me to do for Reen's for love interest? I will let you guys decide first, and for my second playthrough, it will be my pick. I will keep that so my student a little more proud for my viewers. Hmm, that's a good question. I mean, again, I don't know how many more love interests are gonna be. Like, is it? I'm wondering if it's gonna be the same. I mean, I'll have to see for myself who the love interests are. I mean, obviously, it's gonna have to be at least some of them will be like the original class seven, but I don't know who else would be the others. But yeah, I'd have to agree with uh, Reen UEF and say Emma's probably one of the top uh, interests that you should go for in the game because again, her. Her, like, it's kind of like her destiny is tied to Reen, but it's like, that's not necessarily the deciding factor of her interactions, and I really like that as well, from, uh, what Reen UEF has, uh, deduced to me. But yeah, she's definitely one of the top ones. If I had to go for another one, hmm, I mean, I guess Sarah, but again, it's like, I'm just hoping, like, if I do, it's like, again, more in-depth about, like, her past and stuff. Because again, they didn't really reiterate as much in the anime as I had hoped it would, and we did, and we only did that for like a short part in like Jesus's arc in Trails of Colosseum Two, which kind of leaves me uh, a bit questionable as to like her influence. I guess Princess Alfin would also be a good one if she's also an interest in three. I mean, in four, because she's also been like there to help Ring throughout his experience as well. And even though she's a princess, she is trying to do good for the people. That's also good. Trails of Cold Steel 4 has too many love interests. Like, nearly every major girl side that was introduced in Cold Steel from Duvely. Well, she wasn't introduced in Cold Steel, but she was slightly more involved there. And it's like, oh, really? Okay. Well, I guess that's just to go, like, cover all the bases for the fan base, I guess. Yeah, aside from uh, Duvely and so. But yeah, I would say Alfin could also be another good one, in my opinion. Hmm. Would Toa be there as well as a love interest? If she is, then I could also say Toa, because it's like, even though she's the class press, she didn't really get involved in much of the action, but it's that she also uh, can kind of feel that she has too much of a responsibility as the class press back then. So do you vote for Emma? Yeah, I'd say definitely Emma's a top choice, and yeah. I would say Alfin and Toa. Sarah, I'd have to see more to, to to say if she would be a good interest or not. But yeah, for me, that those would be my top three. Because I've already gone with the uh, the basic kind of uh, love interest with uh, Elisa in Trails Cold Steel 2 and Laura in Cold Steel 1. But I feel like for the situation as it evolves into uh, the other two games, those would be my top three. Especially if we see uh, more of them later on. My bad, I forgot I saved here, but I just wanted to do it just in case. Dang, this thing really doesn't tell me how far I am in the map. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, okay, so this is on top of uh, that place that was before, okay. That makes sense now. Okay, good, I actually got into range. Let's go. Yeah. 
Yeah, come on. These these things don't mean anything to me. I beat Aryan Road, okay? Nothing can stop me now. Well, maybe the, the boss is up ahead, but any spawns? No, I would hope not. Even though that last one from the, uh, the level 100 chest was kind of annoying, but still. Yeah, I still can't get over that rush of just actually beating Aryan Road. Considering she was level 120 and I was like 94, 95. I'm, I'm still in shock of that. Because honestly, it was pretty tough. But I did actually kind of enjoy the fight, all things considered. Because they really had to like make you plan a bit more. Because like also having to remember every time that her second move would be her S break and then always having to worry about oh shit she could do it at any time because I think she's probably one of the bosses who frequently used her S break the most out of all the games I or of all the uh, Cold Steel games I had played so far. And it was actually kind of fun for me in my opinion. Like it was tough, it was grueling. I wish I hadn't uh, ended up with uh, losing frames for it so then it could have been an all-in-one recording but it is what it is, at least I actually got to it. Hey. Shit. No, don't follow me. Okay, good, he's not gonna follow me all the way. There we go. Shit, I messed up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's go for burst. I also think it would have been more interesting if Reen showed his power on finding Gideon and his skull dragon, mainly after Gideon used chloroform on Elise, and the chapter after that would bring would be Oliver bringing Mueller or Agate. Skagit. Yeah, I know Agate. I, I've gone to at least meeting him in Trails of Cold... Uh, I mean, in Trails in the Sky. Yeah, the Sky character having Stella and Joshua is impossible for two reasons. One, they were on crossbow at the time. Two, two fan service to help Green train, and to extension, the rest of Class 7 would hand the, his powers. Yeah, because it's true, because it's like, those people, at least, they have experience being both on the front lines and being involved with the uh, the politics and an entire country. So it's like, and considering they both use swords, they probably would be like the best people for him to have looked up to, at least. Yeah, and it's true. I feel like... He should have used his. He should have been able to use his power against a dragon, cause, cause that situation was like really hard for them. And it's like I don't re realistically believe Class Seven would have actually been able to handle that situation under normal circumstances. At least that's how it, it appeared to me. The swordship with Agate, and more the fact also, Agate also fights a dragon. Oh, he does fight a dragon. Cool. Love to see it. Right, let's do a region spin real quick. I'm gonna let you finish. Oh, cool, new achievement. I didn't even know what it was for. Shit. Messed up. Ah, whatever. Forget it. Ow. Stop it. Hey, come on. Right, yeah, let's use a power smash again. Yeah, it's not gonna hit on time. Oh, golden halo, okay. Didn't know that was gonna be the attack. Well, whatever. Never reaching spin. He'd be like, kid, I fought the Divine Beast. I don't need to consider it some weird emo kid. Yet, I could definitely see Agate actually saying that, to be honest. Like, it's his own way of, like, being considerate, you know? He's not really a bad guy. It's just that it's kind of like the tough love kind of idea. Mark your stage, shoot me up. Thanks, Yuki. Really appreciate it. Hey. Yes. Maybe Agate and Shira at the same time, so both physical and art attacks would be covered. Oh, yeah, true, because so far, aside from Oliver, Shira is the only one I know who can use arts pretty well. Especially like attack arts too, when you think about it. Let's go for. Yeah, let's go for power crash for this one. Never raging spin. Come on. 
There we go. Nice. Yes, Celestial Bomb EX and a U material. Oh. Okay. Shit. Wait, I need for it to, uh... Alright, fine. Wait, what's up here, then? Oh, okay. It's just a chest. Okay. I thought it was gonna be, like, something specific. Well, whatever. The just here could actually be good. Could be some cool weapons. Or something of this sort. After this. There we go. Yeah, this way I'm just flying through. Yes, that tier all bomb. Like, seriously, how was it Cold Steel 2? You can get all those items easily from the shop. Even though that's a continuation as well as this. But here you can't even get that. And you would actually need it, especially since I'm doing it on the hardest difficulty. Like, come on. How come I have to wait for Mom just to actually give it to me? Like, I feel like that's a bit too, uh, restraining to the player. Because, like, seriously, I could have used, uh, Celestia Bomb EXs on so many occasions in that one fight with, uh, Ari and Rose. But I guess that's the point, right? It, it would be too easy at that point. My guess is because of the fact these are older games. Yeah, that's true. It's like, it's probably only later, like, the commodity had actually more worth than you had expected. Considering these are, like, similar to, like, uh, remasters in this situation. Considering it was just, like, the voice acting and maybe, like, a bit of the, uh, what's it called? The visuals. So I guess I can see why. Potentially that could be the case. Dang, tear that again. I really need to stop dying for this time. Plus, Agat and Shara would be the ones to save Reen from the Magic Knight. The issue with dipsticks like Duval is you need to read their book, which isn't available in Cold Steel to understand its creation. Wait, what? You have to read a book to understand his story? I thought his would be like connected to Sky as well, or something like that. Because it's like more centered around the guild. Seriously? Why would they do that? I mean, they make Tavol so important to Reen, like an older brother figure in Close Year 2, that they find. Oh no, we don't really need to give him a real backstory. Like, come on, you made him one of the most important characters, and you had him in the party, yet you didn't think to actually give like characterization? What's up with that? I'd replace Zephyr and Duvalet with Campanella and Gilbert. If you're gonna give me comic relief villains, just give me Gilbert and his dynamic with Campanella. Wait, Gilbert? Who's that? Is that a number, member of uh, Ouroboros I haven't met yet? But yeah, it's true. It's like, I feel like Campanella is definitely a better comic relief kind of villain because it's like, he's just doing whatever he wants because he can. And it's like, he's only doing it because or like he's only able to do it because he's taking part in the plan because i am actually interested in like campanella is he like a, a real sage or something i'd be interested to learn about that like now that's the kind of story villain you have questions about as opposed to duvali and zephyr who are pretty much one-dimensional at this point ironically enough I know I don't have to fight every monster here. I know a lot of people are going to say that, but at the same time, it's like, uh... I'm just doing this because I want to get as much of the stuff as I can. Yukien, that lame guy with a robot from the trails in the sky? Hmm, I haven't, I haven't met him yet. Uh, I'll probably see him later. He's a flying Ouroboros. He's a sibling coward who goes... With whoever's strongest. He becomes Campanella's pack mule. Oh, really? Okay, now, see? Yeah, that is a much better comic relief. Like, I feel like with the one with uh, Zeno and Leo, the only real kind of, I guess, quotations comic relief was, like, their interactions with Reen when he was aboard the, the ship. But aside from that, it wasn't really much to them at all. And Doobly, again, it was, like, her interaction with Laura, but it was, like, there was nothing there to work with. You never learned this lesson? Well, at least... Well, they had to have that kind of character at some point, so I'm glad, I'm glad they at least do. Can I get anything over here? Yeah. Overpower smash? 
we can spin. And the true dragon block. Nice. Um, I guess I'll heal. Let's go with uh, the exploding talisman. Oh yeah, that was nice. Plus, it would make sense he tried to teach the provincial army how to handle Max because he's a loser. Nobody listens to him. Yeah, that actually is kind of... That would make sense for one... Now that you say it out loud. How much longer till I fight a boss, man? I feel like I've been up like three or four floors. Is this like the fifth floor or something? Please? This never ends. Alright, let's keep going. Ah, damn it. I was supposed to use Raging Spin. Whatever. Okay. Oh boy, it's one of these chests. Oh boy, I'm ready. Oh, no. Give me a sec. I need to get Tia to, uh... CP, at, at least CP 100, because... I don't know what's in that chest. It could be more of those stone soldiers again. And I am not ready for that. Okay, she at least has CB 100. Actually, let me use the exploding talisman on this guy. Ooh, that took him out easy. I mean, quick work from Amrisha. She really lives up to her name as the inn. Alright, let's see up here. Is there a chest here? What? There's no chest? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is a... Uh, I just had to go around here, okay. I was, like, so confused. Like, really? There's no chest here? I guess it would have been in this bottom pathway. Right? At least I'm just assuming, anyway. Boy, am I so glad this team rush does not count as physical attack. Yep. I figured. Yes, EP charge 3! I'm not 100% sure on these ideas because I'm better critiquing things than executing. Yeah, but it's like, at the same time, they need to have, like, people proofread before uh, they put out the thing, right? And it's like, I feel like that's the kind of thing you're doing. You're kind of, like, uh, proofreading and, like, is this logical enough? Or does, does it, is it a, a solid execution or not? So it's like, even then, it's like, true, you wouldn't have it until, like, after the fact. But even so, it's like... You still have to be uh, pretty knowledgeable to be able to make these kinds of deductions and then give like comparisons to what they could have done better compared to a different project or a more similar one, you know? So I wouldn't say it's like there's no foundation for it or anything like that. I think you definitely have like the right ideas for it, Rin Yuriev. Just trust me. Like you said before, there are too many people who like to kiss up to projects or anything like that. But being able to... Uh, put it out into your own words and stuff does take like a lot of bravery but it's also like being able to have the like right argument for it is like another good value because it shows that you can actually see through it and actually be able to uh, reason with that idea all right let's see exploding talisman okay yep okay hmm yeah, let's go with a quick burst just so I can take both of them out. Ah, oh, damn. It did not work as I had hoped it would. There we go. Oh, savory pinions. I actually do need those. But I know I probably won't get anywhere to like a hundred of those or anything like that, which I really will need. Thank God is it hard to get any of this stuff. Come on, I missed. Not cool, man. Now we get away. Actually, let me go take on that. Oh, no, let me actually get Reen to a CP 200. Or Randy at the very least. Everyone so strong here? Yeah, this team is so awesome. Plus, I feel like this team is probably one of my most balanced for me because you have someone who can dodge really well and then be able to execute properly especially since it's not only like in a straight line or just single target she also has like a good range attack too brandy it's my tank 
course. Lloyd, he's one of my best all around. It's he, her magic arts are like insane. And then I have like the Rune of Triumph, which helps me a lot as well, gaining CP back and then being able to deal damage. Love it. Shame. Oh, damn. No! I just gun. God damn it. I knew this would potentially happen, but I just hoped it wouldn't. Alright, let me heal him. Thank you. Oh, come on. That is so stupid. I was so close. Come on. Great. Now I gotta get his uh, CP back up, too. From gun to that point. Ass. Okay. Fine. Take out my anchor on you, then. Okay, has this now. Well, it's not close enough, but it's something. Wait, what I get? Oh, Prickly Seed, okay. I won't go through yet, because I know it's gonna respawn the monsters once I do. So, let me at least get to the chest, and then I'll read your comment, you and you, yeah. Let me also save this one. Also, instead of being saved by someone with Campanella, Gilbert, and McBurn, Gilbert would be knocked out, and Campanella teleports him out. With McBurn, I think he'd be slowly trying to party alive. The reason desperation would go berserk and actually harm McBurn, which has him be like, not bad, Ash kid, I'll give you that one. That's the one. Wow. That's actually a good play by play of that. Like, I can actually see this kind of happening. Yeah, that, that would actually be cool, Ringuia. Dude, you should be like a, one of those uh, like fanfic writers like for uh, Wattpad or something like that. You could definitely do something with a story like that, honestly. That sounds like so cool. And although it is somewhat of something like at least parts of it would be like you see an anime where like people go berserk and then it's like they're like, oh, this guy has potential. It's like it actually is pretty good with it. No, I'm better criticism. No, but I mean it. Like you could seriously do something with this. Like, yeah, I'm not saying, like, go for, like, a full-on book or anything, but it's, like, stuff like this, it would definitely be awesome to actually see. Alright, let's see what I got to deal with. Oh, my God. No! Oh, okay, it was just Randy, okay. Okay. I can't believe Randy just died there. Are you kidding me? Okay, good, this doesn't count. No, get away. No, stop! Oh my god. If I didn't have that guard, I'd be dead. Holy shit. That was terrifying. Khaled Bull. Nice. Damn it. Every time, someone's gonna have to be revived here. But again, that, that just goes to show how difficult this area is. And I'm perfectly fine with it. Okay, okay there. Oh, and he lost his... E Oh, he lost an EP too? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. That is crazy. Oh wait, no, I need Lloyd's EP. Yeah. Wanna know who the other Divine Knight pilots are and why I hate most of them and we'll want that to be a surprise. Hmm. You know, I'm already gonna guess who one of them is. Because I've had an inkling for a while. Let me guess. It's Aryan Road, isn't it? Because if she's back, and they needed her for the war, and it was also like around that time with the uh, the Vermilion Despair, they would have needed someone like that. But we haven't seen Dracos with it, and it, again, it would potentially have to be people around that time, right? Or even descendants, which seems like Green could potentially have been a descendant at one point. Rutger Clausel, Steel Maiden, Rufus, and Cedric. Hmm. Rutger Clausel, 
Oh, is that Fee's dad? Oh, oh, okay. So yeah, he is gonna be revived as I had thought. Okay, I figured as much. Steel Maiden? Yeah, I figured Aryan Road would have to be as well. Rufus too? Seriously? Dang. And Cedric, Rise of Arnic. Well, Cedric makes sense because they put him in the Vermilion Despair. So it's like, it's not impossible that he couldn't gain that power again, or like actually be able to use it this time around. And also Gilly of Osborne, well, I mean, I guess it would make sense too, because he's the main baddie. Of course he would probably have one too, because it seems like to be the most powerful forces in history, potentially, or possibly. I only like Cedric and Rufus in terms of antagonist. Oh, Cedric's gonna be an antagonist? Oh, okay. I mean, I do like kind of like Rufus's as like being a antagonist because he's being like kind of he's more like on the logic side of things, you know, he's like, as long as the plan goes that way, I don't care what I have to do, what kind of dirty tricks I have to pull, but it's not like he's degrading himself or anything like that. It's like it's all strictly for the mission. I like that. And again, it's because it's an interesting idea i like it because again it's also like a noble like rufus is following osborne who came from just being a uh from nothing to being at the top position i do like that concept of like rufus also being a bad guy because it's like it'd be interesting to see why he follows him so i don't like prince cedric he's a jerk oh really okay interesting well, I'm gonna have to see that. I mean, he seemed like a nice kid, but hmm. But then again, a lot of shit has happened, so it wouldn't surprise me if he got like a far PTSD and then some. It, it kind of altered how he perceives things. Green Uriath, I like him because I am sick of the. Oh, I'm not really evil. You mean Rufus, right? Or are you talking Seizure, Green Uriath? Because I thought you were kind of like responding to uh, Yuki's uh comment oh yeah let me see hold me no way hold me no way i ain't got enough of my oh my god cedric oh okay oh so is he kind of like also being logical as or maybe not logical but i guess it's a more realistic kind of villain i guess it's gonna be interesting Rutger and the Steel Maiden are the most forced part of it. I think how Osborne is the cause of all the problems, it should have been people personally involved with Osborne. His followers Claire, like their Cedric Rufus, and his victims are gonna crow. Yeah, I actually do kind of see that. Because it would actually make sense that because like is he's practically altered their futures, right? Because Claire I think remember I remember vaguely she said like she had lost her family and Osborne was there for her. That's why she uh, listens to him, you know? Lecter, he's a bit of an oddball, but he's also a mystery too. Yeah, and again, with Cedric and Rufus, you, you can actually see that. And Yeah, because then it's like, it's a tough opposition. You have four people who follow him and then Osborne himself with just the two of them, the Azure Knight and the Azure Knight. It would be a more interesting thing. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure out why is it like the Steel Maiden is back even though she's supposedly supposed to be dead after all this time. And for Rutger, it should be the same idea, right? He should have died when fighting the War God of the Red Constellation. So how is he back now? Rutger is just like... Oh, I'm paid to be here. So I mean, because they wrote her a super honorable person. They try to cram a reincarnation to give her any motives to be there. Even then, it's forced because it's only brought up when she's on screen. Oh, really? Oh, so she is reincarnated. I see. I feel like it would have made more sense if it's like she had gained immortality through some means. And then she was forced to live through this life. And then maybe she got corrupted. And then that's what led her to... The Grandmaster. I feel like that would have at least made a bit more sense in, like, the connection there, you know? More like Osborne is a reincarnation of her look. Oh, of Dreykul's. I see. Hmm. I'm starting to see what direction it kind of it could potentially take. Okay. 
But even so, it's like, I still see more of a... I still feel like it would have been more sense if she was like more of a tragic hero. Also in her uh, being alive in the current day. Like it would have made more sense for it to go in that direction, wouldn't it? And she spent 200 years knowing all the horrible stuff that happened in the story and did nothing because they wanted to write her as a girl doll. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, if she is the good guy, like she's supposed to be, how could she let this happen? How could she let things go as it should be when it's harming her, her homeland, which she fought the entire war, which was the whole point of her involvement in the War of the Lions. And then also harming people at Crossbell who could, who are just innocent people trying to get by after all the shit with Ravash. It's just, I'm not really understanding what's the common ground there. That's why I hate Nagro characters, because they never be portrayed as anything other than complete paradox. Yeah. I don't, you're not wrong. Wait, what? What I, what? Where'd I go? Oh. Oh. This is my path to get back. Yeah, because I was wondering. I didn't use this crystal. I'm like, what is this for? I see. It's to lead me all the way back here. Okay, good. At least I do have a point to return to. All right, let me take a risk and get my CP. Because it looks like that there was going to be a boss fight. So I'm going to have to go out there and show them who's boss. All right, I'm excited. Who's the first one I'm going to have to take down? Hmm, it's kind of similar to like the the magic circle that blocked us into a longer castle, but this is different. This must be the difference between magic and alchemy. Even worse is they're like, oh, I didn't tell anyone or do anything because I wanted to do this myself. Yeah, that's true. Ah, projection. So she can also do that like Vita does. You know, I like how uh, Maria Bell is this game's version of Vita, but here we're actually seeing the contrast, where it's like she is actually being more selfish, supposedly, for whatever her true goal is. Whereas Vita, we never really understood what was the point, but it seemed more like she was just leading the story. Because she, she was trying to look for an end, right? Like a certain ending. But it seemed like for her, her hero was a crow. Like that was selfish in itself, but not necessarily in the fact that it's like, oh, it's like directly like destroying everything in her path just for what they want what she wants but Maria Bell it's the exact opposite she's willing to give it everything <laughs> when Celine Vita and Rose do this they are rightfully called out with uh Orion Road it's just oh why didn't you t tell us you didn't have to do this alone oh wait Rose who's that must be a new character I don't know Vita is an end justify the means sort of thing Maria Bell is far more sadistic and villain yeah it is true, because it, like I said, Vita does seem to like just want her ending, and she knew what that would mean to go against like Emma, to go against the the wishes of the Hexen Clan, and to do this to Erebonia. Maribel is like, she does, she did seem to have those tendencies, in our interactions with her, but not so like this like, out of the ordinary. And that's why I like it's like, they're two different kinds of like witches slash mages or whatever or alchemists but even then that's not the only contrast between them yeah. 
Even though Mary is Osborne and Arya and Rod almost never interact, and he never talked about her, which makes the reincarnation thing super important. Yeah, because then it's like, oh, then the whole point of her supposedly doing this for like her current day Dracos is like, then why is she even there? If you break that apart, then yeah, I would see how it would lead in that direction. Yeah, I was just hoping it's like, Steel Man would have like a more noble reason to. Or maybe not a noble reason, but like a more in-depth reason to do so. Like, I thought like maybe a psychological thing, but oh, that's kind of disappointing. Oh, is it like I make a choice who I fight, but I don't know who is in which one? That would actually be cool if I get to kind of choose who I fight in each round because you automatically pretty much knew who was going to be in each one. Like, you knew McBurn would probably be one of the highest ones. Zephyr was literally uh, just painted on. Then Duvely and Blue Blanc, it was like, of course they'd have to be the first ones because uh, we already f stopped Altina at, the, uh, at that, like, summer home. For a better idea, we're showing Lecter and Claire as mentally ill cowards who know that Osborne is wrong and hate themselves for what they've done, but they can't break away from his influence. Hmm. Yeah, because it's like, at least we understand, like, Claire, she understands what Osborne's doing. It's like, there is, like, some, like, it's something morally wrong. But at the same time, it's like, she owes him her life. Although I don't know too much of the circumstances, it's like, Considering how true she is for her feelings and stuff, like her sense of justice and all that, it's like I can see that at the very least. But it's like Lecter, it's like again, he's too much of an oddball. I can't really say for sure who he's supposed to be, and I like that he's an enigma of sorts. <laughs> You probably hate how C CS4 handles Claire and like they're oh really? That would suck. But again, I'll, I'll still see what it has to be for myself. I won't hold like any complete uh, reasonings for them, though I've seen it for myself. But I will at least keep in mind. Oh, but I see what Mario Bell means. People tied to our fate, so that would mean... Wazi... If we have Wazi, that would be Wald. If we have Ellie, it would possibly be Maria Bell. Lecter. Uh, not Lecter, my bad. I'm just confusing myself right now. Um, uh, Randy would be uh, Zygmunt. Risha would be Shirley. Arios would be Lloyd? But then who would Tios be? Or would Tio just be a... Hmm, I don't know. Who would Tio be then? Wait, who do you have... 
Not Novartis, because he left, right? He's done. Because I was going to say instead Grimwood would be for Lloyd and... Uh, but then again, why make him accessible if he's the mastermind? I'd also have Franz Reinfurt as the head of Reinfurt. He's basically a satanic kind of evil and is involved in the Black Workshop for creating him. Wait, Franz Reinfurt? Oh, that's Elisa's dad, right? Because he had supposedly uh, died early, wasn't it? And was also the reason why uh, Irina had to take over the company. I see. Yeah, he was uh, the student of uh, the doctor, right? Or the professor. The one who helped uh, make Reen's Tachi. Right, right, right. Oh, wait. Oh, so he was involved with the Black Workshop? Really? Okay. Interesting. Alright, let's leave the, the Cold Steel 3 and 4 spoilers at that. I don't want to spoil any more, but... Interesting. You're giving me some interesting takes on it, and I'll see how it goes from there. But I think there should be enough of the spoiler part for now. Because, <laughs> like, I know I'm almost there, but it's like, I want to see for myself, you know? But still, I, I won't say, like, don't say these kinds of things, because, I mean... You took the time to actually yeah, write this down let me know in advance, probably because you want to warn me about this stuff, and I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, seriously, how long has she been to just twist mm, Oh, okay, I see. So we have to go through each of... We have to go through both, but we make the decision of which one. Hmm. Or maybe he's not like there's a boss for like every person specifically, but at least for some of them who are still here, right? Because again, like like I said, Ellie would be Maria Bell, Wazzy would be Wald, Randy would be his uncle, Risha would be Shirley, and then Lloyd and Tyr that can just be up in the air. Or maybe Dudley's would be Arios, because both used to be and are still members of CPD. Alright. Let's see. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, Wald. Oh, these must be his own thoughts, right? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. It's like... Why is he so obsessed with his power now? Like, again, it's like it's one thing for him to like, he felt he was being left behind by Wazi, but at the same time, it's like he knew what all of this would do. But then again, it's, he, he always wanted to prove he was the strongest, so it's not too out there. I also wonder if each member of Class 7 should have their own favorite kind of music. Green liked various metal bands, Emma liking opera or anything or singing. Uses classical music. Million likes cheesy stuff in kids' radio shows. Crow likes rock and roll, pop music. Well, not opera. Maybe Emma would be more open to what music is as long as it's soothing. Walt would do a better job of portraying a jealous antagonist than Doobly. Yeah, that's true. It's like he actually kind of does. Because it's like they've at least established this struggle from the very beginning. Where it's Doobly is just, just out of the blue. And there's like no like. There's no like visual of it. Cause even like Laura didn't really seem to give a damn so it's like okay so then it's just a one-sided thing so what Watch it. yeah plus it's taking more serious for Wald exactly Oh, 
だが今度ばかりはお遊びじゃ済まないから万全の体制で臨むとしようかはい Alright, let me check this one. Kidari no Monto, Nasca. Cotidania, it's a starting a little cassia. Yep, makes sense of what you, Shirley. しかもどうやら待ってるのは俺の方じゃなさそうだなあリーシャできれば彼女のことは俺たちに任せていいえ私と彼女はある意味似たような境遇の存在です Yeah like them being tied to their、uh, family's、uh, history and I do also like how they do a better job at this than like with fees like One, she was a doctor, so it's not like she could say, like, oh, I have like this literal biological attachment. But it's like, also, they kind of give her more like options. Where it's like, this, it's like, at least Risha's, there's a bit of leeway, but she, it's still her history. But Shirley's like, she's fully like、uh, inhabited and like absorbed this lifestyle and became a part of it. <laughs> Oh boy, Wong or Sherry? Hmm, I'm gonna go with Sherry first because I feel like Wong is gonna be more of a tank. If I can potentially level up one more time, I feel like it'd be better to do that. If I can level up against Sherry. I'd also have the Iron Bloods be guest party in Kosia too. Agate and Shara will help until they all reunite. Also, be like, since all you have to get, might as well tag along till you get back on your feet. That and Fee's family are healthy, which makes no sense why the child soldier after him. True, because it doesn't sound like she's been like that、uh, involved in it as compared to these two. Again, not really much light on like Sarah's involvement either. At least currently, with my knowledge of one and two in the anime.、Uh, give me a quick sec, g u y Take a quick little bathroom break and then we will go and fight Sherry right away. I'll only be gone for like a minute or two, so don't go away. I'm back. Alright.、Uh, child soldiers are known for their abusive upbringing, twisting and praying. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, then how does that make sense in Fee's case? It's kind of weird. Alright, have 200 CP, have all the EPs up. Health's good. Let's go. I'm ready. Damn, she has a peaceful garden? How's that happen? Oh, wait. Domain of Passion. 
Well, she definitely is passionate about what she does. Oh, so I have to go through a map and then fight her. Okay. Um, you know what? Sure, why not? I mean, I feel like if it was just... But then again, don't you have to do... Doesn't I have to go through like five floors for every other set as well? But then again, there should only be like one other set. Because can Grimwood even fight? I don't even know if he can. Because it seems more like he's the brains than the brawn. At least, at least currently. But then again, he did, uh, he could have potentially killed Guy. But then again, it was just by a shot in the back or something like that. Yeah, I was expecting, like, a flaming place just like that one, uh, shrine in the, uh, Transgossu 2. Maybe that's supposed to be the point. It's the contrast and the irony that it's a, like, to her, her lifestyle is all sunshine and rainbows and stuff like that. But for anyone else, it would be a living hell. <laughs> or maybe it's like similar to like how sins work, and it's like it's supposed to be the opposite of what they truly are, right? Like in Seven Deadly Sins, Meliodas looks like. He's supposed to be the sin of wrath, but he doesn't look anything like it. At least at first glance, anyway. What hurts Laura and Fee is the lack of baggage. Upbringing alone doesn't work because they're... Who by their upbringings should take issue with it, not just Laura. What made Jesus and Magius believable was the fact one. People talk like this in politics all the time. Two, they have baggage. Yeah, that's true. It's like they at least had they at least met both the criteria to make it work. Like Machius has an actual reason to hate nobles. And Juicis also cannot necessarily take the idea that they object to uh that people deny the uh, worth of nobles, because he's trying to prove that himself, I guess. But with Laura and Fees, it's like, Laura has no direct, uh, connection or, like, hate towards the Jaegers, and Fees is the same. She doesn't really have it to them. If anything, it should be more the Red Constellation, so then it's like, what's there? Watch, all these monsters are gonna have, like, super buffs and, like, one hit KO me. I won't put it past them. Oh, maybe we can only see him in the dark? Oh, I get it. Yeah. You can only see her true self in the darkest times, but you... But, like, on her exterior, she just seems like a hyperactive kid. I see. That's why it's like this, specifically. Fall into a unpredictable... Yeah, that's true, because, like, she can change at the drop of a hat. Plus, this is a lot darker subject matter and all you get is a bunch of half snark snarking genuine oh i'm sorry no i'm sorry almost like they were scared to make the harem girls look bad true hyperactive and potentially kid yeah all right what, what's here oh my god is that a t-rex gotta be kidding me Okay, here we go. Encourage, please. Let's do an exploring talisman. Oh, okay, that was easy. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if, if that's all my moves take to actually deal damage like this, then I'd be shocked. But I see. I was gonna say, what the fuck is going on? Why is it so easy? Monster egg. 
EP charge. Oh yes, EP charge three. Thank God, dude. I love getting EP three charge three. Yay. Yeah, that's the problem. I can't see which side is the red side. But then again, it's supposed to make sense because this is like end game dungeon. What is this? A graph rusher. Okay. Well, screw it. I'm doing absolute zero now. Oh, that did like almost nothing. Dang, these guys don't get hurt. Seriously, they must have like super high defense stats. Like, it's one thing you would tell me, oh, it's because I made them frozen, but it's another to be like, oh shit. Oh, here we go. No, get away. Yeah, I was wondering if we see more of these things. So we haven't fought as many. There we go. Keep it going. Keep the line moving. Sweet. Alright, Phantom's almost level 5. Wait, what? Alright, come on. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. The defense wasn't that hard this time. Let me guess, I can't go- Oh, I see, I see, I see. So these ones that aren't illuminated like that one, I can't go up unless I turn it to day. But I can't go up these paths until it's night, I see. Wait, then why would I want to activate this one then? Oh no, oh okay, to get to there, I see. Cause I was gonna be like, I'd be stuck in the middle of nowhere then. Why the fuck would I want to do that? Oh great, another secret chest. Oh, uh, you gotta love to see it. Dang, this does like literally nothing to him. Well, screw it. Alright, raging spin. Try it again. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna use a burst. No, I'm just gonna do regular attack. Yeah. There we go. At least I only lost half the bar. Alright. Save. I'm gonna also cover the three girls' concepts better. Toxic family life. Emma's family are very conceited and irresponsible with which clashes with her personality. Abandonment issues. V basically gave her up so she'd have a better future. Emma's family walks in and out of her life on a whim and makes her take all the responsibility. After doing duty, Emma tries so hard to follow the duties of a witch that it hurts her self-esteem. Yeah, it's true. She literally does like cover all the bases way better. Without a doubt, I 100% agree. Okay. Wait, did he just move to the side? He can do that? Well, I mean, obviously I'm gonna take care of these guys first. Mm, I, I can only hit five. I'll just get these guys. And then I can use Risha's. Then Lloyd. There we go. Jeez, there we go. Oh right, I still had confused. I forgot about that. Come on. There we go. Ow. That actually hurt. Shit. Please don't hit her. Okay, good. Well, it should still hit the dinosaur, right? Yep. Oh my god. No. Nope. Oh my gosh, she's saying to you anyway. God dang it. Yeah, help me please. Oh no, don't use the power smash. We need to gain CP back. Wait, what? Oh, it hit me? I'm not cool. Oh, blinded Tio. Man. Alright, go, Randy. All oh, sweet. Burning Heart 2. Polarish Dress. Or Polaris. Oh, okay, good. 
Oh, but it has evasion. I would like to get the evasion of Risha. Where Tempest Gowns, yeah, it has the defense and the ADF, but I'd rather give the agility. Tempest Gown would be better for her than. Yeah, we give her the Astro Railment. Perfect. So there we go. Alright, let's turn it to data. Not to mention the positive aspects are also covered better by Emma. The resourcefulness of a debutant engineer. Emma will use everything at her disposal to help others. Mercenary. A mercenary's improvisational skills. She can find solutions to problems without needing to rely on me. Kind of cover the effort and honor part. True that. Here, here. Okay, here we go. Oh, good, it's only one of them. But I've hate to have, like, find an entire army. Yes. First is full. But yeah, it's like, I can definitely imagine her. Like riding on T-Rex in like her dreams, instead of like counting sheep, she's just have her counting this or counting corpses. Alright, Shoe Dragon Claws again. Let's do another first again. I love having this party. It's so useful. Oh, wind! Okay, damn. This would have been a good time to have Ellie. Oh, that did like nothing. Fine, though. Yes, I am wasting like so much CP on doing all these moves. There we go, and then sweet. Yes, Phantom finally reached level five. All right, max speed, Rune of Illusion, ten to five. Race strength, ATS speed when battle begins. Guaranteed party advantage 90%. Let's go. Love those kinds of numbers. Oh, okay, there's a path down there. Seriously, how am I supposed to know what's the right path? It'd be annoying to go back every time. Oh, it's, oh okay, this is different. Still would take down this thing. At least I actually can get a bunch of EP3 charges and Celestial Bombs here. Like seriously, I feel like that's the only good thing about this location. I mean, that and I can grind for Zephyr, but... Most so for the resources. Oh, okay, there we go. Yep. Let's change it real quick. I'll change it back in a bit. Oh, is this another... Ch I think it was this a challenge chest? I don't remember. Eh, just in case. Oh, still blue. Okay, what's that do? Ooh, ATS, speed, and provide poison burn, burn and blind. Okay, that's not bad. So this is already by like Emma Juices and Crow for the fact Jeremy care for me, especially Emma and Crow. Yeah, that's definitely why it's like, when you asked me the question before who I would say I like best, it's like Crow is definitely up there as one of the best. Like he's not... I mean, he is the antagonist, at least for Reen, but he's not the main antagonist for, like, the story, and it's believable that way. Juices, I also agree. It's like, he sees, like, the real situations. Like, he sees, like, a, a noble should be doing this to actually set a right example, not just everything they do is the right example. Like, other uh, nobles act in, in these kinds of stories. I like that. Power smash? I know. Oh, okay, good. Did it delay. Also, let's react like a person. Meanwhile, with everyone else, he has to be a little. Yeah, agreed. Alright, let's build our CP back up. Come on. Nice. Uh, how much more is left of this place? God damn. Dude, how big is this place? Or am I just going in a giant circle? I think I actually might be going in a circle. 
Okay, tear all bomb, I'll take that. No, go away. Wait, what? I think I actually am going in a little circle. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, did I just get freeze too? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, I did. Well, at least I can give that to Noel. Just to have. Oh, I see. So this would be the top then. That I need to reach. Celestial Bomb EX? Yes, gimme. Go away. Shoot! Stop following me! Hey. Alright. Let's get rid of these guys first. Power Smash. Radiant Spin. Oh, that didn't work out well. Yeah, there we go. Let's go and toss them. Easy. The fact many of them stomp on him when he shows vulnerability is telling that they don't like him. They like what he can do. Meanwhile, everyone else's feelings are being validated. Yeah, I can actually see that. Actually, I can probably picture that right now. Alright, let me see what's on this side. Sorry about that. I was checking somewhere on my phone. Oh, okay, here we go. That's how I get to here. Alright, let's go. Yep. Nice surprise. Next. Next. this guy up because he has more help oh come on he's not the guard Ubakuya. kind of reminds me of a shira sword from face day night oh holy shit 666 six, six strength range one and cost death blow 10 percent yes please give me that now that is a weapon I still have to give a um, uh, Noel the uh, Freeze 2 and the uh, what was the other one again? Oh yeah, the Khaled Bolt. Yeah, didn't I miss stuff on this side here somewhere? I want to get all the items that I can because like, at least here I do need these items. Like EP charges and Celestia Bomb EXs, I do need them. Like, very. But the problem is, I have like no idea if I got them or not because this thing doesn't tell me anything. Like, really? I, I feel like at least when I discover part of the map, I should be able to see like what's in it. Like, I feel like that's at least a fair like, judgment. Okay, yeah, so this was here. Same like before. Yeah, I was at this part. Then I was here. Oh, okay, I see. So that's where I started. Yeah, so then I do have to go and turn that light on. Give me a second to get that light. Yeah, so then this is the way back. Here's the part I missed out. Shit. 
Oh no, I was just here. Okay. Yeah, so this is like the shortcut I could have gone, and I went the long way. Okay. Yeah, I'll just fight some more spawns so that I can uh, get my CP up. I could take the liquids, but I feel like it's better to save that for when in actual combat. Because I actually am going to need it at those stages of the game. Let's give me this. Nice. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to try to at least gain some CP before anything else. I don't care if I lose the burst thingy, but I kind of need this more. There we go. Like, look, I can use the healing item just fine. It's just that the CP stuff I'm going to need to save because I only have that much. I mean, I could probably go buy it again, but I'd rather not have to every time. There we go. Tears on us at level 100. I mean, CP 100. Yeah, now it's first. There we go. I actually need to focus more on getting my CP. I have courage. Actually, do you need the strength? Shit. Why couldn't I have attacked me when I had guard? Okay, good. Sweet. Oh, she's dead. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought she was just knocked out. Shit. Okay, good. Okay, good. Level up. She got her health back. Good. Alright, we're getting close. Keep going. Okay, at least she had the guard. She's already passed out, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now Randy's asleep. Shit. Oh, I had her heal herself. I'm so stupid. Then heal Randy. Okay, good. Nice. Oh, Rand. Okay. Well, I mean, at least I went up in CP. Now we're almost at 200 CP for everybody. Come on. Almost there. Damn. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Missed. God damn it. Why are 
are you guys missing? Seriously, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you guys should not have been missing. Tear here yourself. Just keep going. Yes, thank you. Ellie, what a plan. No, I don't need these guys to get CP. I need it. Yeah. There we go. That's what I want to see. Now we'll just turn this on. Whew. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. It better just be this one floor. I'm going to be pissed that there's actually more to this. Alright, I need to eat charge. Damn, I used so many of the first ones. At least I still have a lot of second. We're just gonna fill it up to full, because I can't trust myself with this. Every amount of EP counts. Oh, actually. Let's make some more food. What was the thing I needed the most? It was, a. Uh, is it this one? They have, yeah, this had the same opinion. So first, let me switch him with Wazi. Oh no, not the bell babies. Yeah, this one, the pinky rose. Oh, I need the Arcadia Ambrosia the most. How many do I need? Four, okay. Come on. I'll take three. Alright, what else do I need? I already have enough of this. This has HP and evasion. Maybe. ATS and EP. The light burger also gives me this. You know what? Let's make a couple of these. Come on, Tia. Yeah, keep it going. I know I could get Lloyd to do it, but... Six! Okay, yeah. Oh, my bad. We still gotta do more. Here we go, Risha. Nine. Okay. I wish I had more, but that's the best I'm gonna have. Yes, five heavenly noodles. And I got some of the peddlers ones. Damn, I keep exiting out of this thing. Stamina stick. Uh, oh, I don't really have any, do I? Alright, uh, let me put Randy back into the fold. So I can have him make me some. I mean, I know I could have bought some, but it's like at the same time. These extra effects don't come unless I make out my own. Oh shit, but they use a lot though. Three of the... Damn, I knew I should have bought more of this thing. Ah, whatever. 6% gives burn. Hmm, should I make some just in case? Ah, why not? I don't know if uh, Sh Shirley can use burn. But I would believe so. Yeah, because wasn't her thing like a flamethrower? Probably be better if I had to make these in case. Oh, come on. That sucked. Okay, what happens if I make... If I give uh, Lloyd a couple? Let's make five. See if he can make a supreme one. Soothing Jade Noodles. Oh, okay. So it's 15 cure seal and mute. Yeah, why not? Just in case. How many do you have? 20 something? Okay. Um. They each only use one, so I could just make a couple more. But I might need the EP stuff anyway. Fine, I'll at least make it. Alright, fine. Uh, let me get Ellie here too. 
What was it? It's a smooth almond jelly, right? Yeah. Oh, and it should be coming, okay. Okay, but that gives 50, dang. Alright. One more. Oh, it didn't give me the snow pudding. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Perfect. Let's switch Tio back in here. Thank you. And Lloyd's gonna need two more of these. Awesome. Everyone's ready, everyone has their EP and everything. Yeah. Let me save before our battle. Because I might at least try to do uh, Shirley's battle and Wald's battle, at least for today. Hopefully we can get to that. Dang, this is a huge walk. Oh damn it, I could've just walked here. Fucking idiot. Eh, whatever. Okay, have a charging station, have all my food, let's go. ひどいな、ランディ兄は。まあ、確かにランディ兄たちだけならサクッと出撃して殲滅してるけどさ。おい。アルカンシェロでの続き。最高に気持ちいい暮らし合いを始めるとしようか。そのために待ってよ。ここまで来てそうなのってありなの。確かにあなたと私はどこか似ているのかもしれない。私は院として物心ついた時には、そう育てられていましたが、あなたも多分気づいた時には戦場という世界にいたのでしょう。実戦は9歳からっていうのはランディ兄と同じだったかな。でもチャーリーは一度だけ嫌だなんて思ったことはないよ。確かに痛いし、辛いこともあるけど、戦場ってキラキラしてるし、何よりもワクワクできるから。リ
よってああでもしないとリーサは本気でシャーリーと殺し合ってくれないでしょ悪いとは思うけど仕方ないよね<笑>話が通じないね<笑>大丈夫彼女のことは分かりますもし私がリンの道に喜びを見出していたら彼女と同じものに持っていたでしょうからああシャーリーさんはっきりと言います私は死にたくはありませんえクロスベルに来るまで私はいつ死んでも構わないと思っていましたね自分が死ぬということを意識すらしたことがありませんでしたでも今は生きていたい生きて新たにつかめた光を大切な人たちと一緒に追い求めていきたいんですだからあなたとの殺し合いには応じることができませんリーシャリーシャちゃんよく言ったぜリーシャちゃんなんでわざわざこんな場所に来たのさリーシャにシャーリーと戦いたかったんじゃないの大気不能になったイリアの敵を取りたかったんじゃないのイリアさんは絶対に何があっても復活しますその意味で私があなたに復讐する理由はありません復讐されたいのであればイリアさんが復活した時にでも彼女に会いに来てください多分きつい文化を一発もらえるでしょうからハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハあなたと私自身を証明するためです今の私があなたよりも強いとあああ暗闇の果て新たな光を見出した私に決められた荘園の道しか知らないあなたは及ばない。それを証明してみせます。全力でリーシャを援護する Alright, let's go Oh my god Oh fuck No, no, no Shit Ah, uh, crap, crap, crap Alright, you should have it for faint That's something I'm probably gonna need to equip on the team Let's see. Where's the other one? Here we go. Here we go.
Let's see what else we can do. Oh, so close. Let's go for an encourage. Oh, I'm so lucky I actually had something for that. Yes, I can reach her. Thank God I actually could. Nah, give him Tira. Yep. Shit. Alright, I'll save the Arcadium and Brogius. Just give him the Celestia Bomb for now. There we go. Damn it, still alive. Shit. Nice Tiro Bomb. Nice. She knocked them both out. That's ridiculous. Yes, yeah, used to be bad man. I knew she would have something for this. Then I have something for here. A burn. No, I don't need that one. Here we go. And I just screwed. So good. Let's go. Okay, good. Let's do this right. And Chrono Drive. And the Crest. Never Aqua Mirage. Then the forte once more. Take it to your ball. Go for it. Okay. Just start with the shield. Take over the shield and roll. Okay, I can still do Celestial. I still have the shield! In your face. Alright, come on. Oh, boy, am I lucky I actually still had enough for one more. I didn't even know I did. Nice. Keep going. Damn it. Nice. 
Almost. Yes, first try. Let's go. And a level up to 105. And I got Celestia Bomb Young for free. I didn't even have to use one. ちゃんと聞いてください。し、ああ、最高の気分なまま行けると思ったのね。こら、ガキの名前言ってんじゃねえ。ランディに聞いてよ。言っとくけど、パパがお待ちかねだからね。覚悟決めた方がいいと思うよ。分かってるっつの。お兄さんたちもまあせいぜい頑張りなよ。あの剣剣がすごいし、お嬢さんもやばそうだし。でもまあ、あの子なんか辛そうだったから笑顔。<
届けた方がいいのかな Hmm, what offer? Is it the one like Mario Bell saying to join her team? I guess. Alright, well, at least half of it's gone. Somewhat. Yep. Alright, well I'm gonna go heal everybody real quick, and by heal I mean get our CP all the way back up. Okay, still the same stuff as before. At least we got rid of one of them. Still got a hell of a lot more to go. Alright, round two, Wald. Bring it. I'm gonna save these points because I think it's good to have like chances to refight the boss and stuff like that. Holy shit, this is a barren wasteland. This reminds me of that one reference they made in One Piece where there was like an, an island that always struck thunder. また、やっとさんらしい場所だな。あれは何だかの雲が埋める部分のようですが。やれやれ。ちょっとばかり彼を穴取りすぎていたみたいだ。まさか畳との身で、ここまでバケるとはね。うわち。行こう。この先にバル
please. Let's say about the goat head. Evil spirit governs time and death, granting all it meets with eternal rest without joy or remorse. You material celestial body. Oh my god. Almost that. Oh wow, so this is like literally only the higher elements can damage it. Okay, yeah, I'm good to go first. I'm not letting it make me vanish and lose all my EP. I already lose enough as it is because of the lightning here. Thank you. There we go. At least this doesn't count. Of course it had to be that part of the end. Son of a bitch. Fine, I'll use it. Oh, an actual cave. I haven't been in one of these in a while. Alright, keep going. Ah, damn it. Still left fit to be desired. Come on, Tia. Good. Just gonna get as many items as I can. Well, at least no one can hit him. No, 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 no. What is that thing? Freaking lizard. Need to wander back up. Okay. Yes. Finally got it. Damn, I don't know where to go. Nice. よし。え、肉の。
畳みかけるぞ。<音楽>
Oh shit, you're telling me I could have gone through these broken paths? Damn. I would have liked to have known that. I want to face this guy again. Yeah. Gotta get our EP back. I mean, CP back. Alright, just in case, because I have no idea what this could be. Look at this up right here. Go. Here we go. Arcadia. Okay. Now we can heal back in here. At least I can always do that. Okay. Yeah. Get rid of it. There we go. Nice. Now we just need to get everyone else's weapon. But now I have to go to the cracked path, don't I? Shit. That sucks. I just made it out of there, now I actually have to go back.
Oh, Diabolos. All right, let me know who that's for. That's definitely for Dudley. Uh, but I don't know if there were other paths that I could have gone through.
しましたおまえ、ましょう、ラキアキルスケッタ、トリチェンバトル。ああ、everyone has full CP、we got the burst drive ready、got healed up。We actually got face wall、this place was a lot easier compared to before、it's just that it was annoying with the、uh, EP draining、but if that's it、hey、I'm all for it。Probably just because he's that tough or something <laughs>。バーロン<笑>どうやらその姿がてめえの仕事着ってわけだ。聖杯騎士団。教会の極秘部隊だったのか。まあね。個人的にはテスタメントの時のスタイルの方が好きだけど。ああ、ポストの時に着ているスーツなんかも悪くないかな。相変わらず悪趣味な野郎だぜチャラけたバイトのやりすぎで頭が麻痺してんじゃねえのか君に言われたくないね力を手に入れてもその悪趣味な格闘は手放していないみたいだし当たり前だこいつは象徴だからてめえみてえな小ぎようなやつには込められない魂が宿ってるんだその割には旧市街のアパートキックでぶっ壊したそうじゃない列車を脱線させたのだってただの力任せだったみたいだし<笑>よく知ってやがるな知りたくもないのに勝手に耳に飛び込んできてねフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフそういやそんな名前を言ってやがった気もするな赤色の方じゃないのか確か魔人化するのは赤色の方だったはず Yeah, cause when Gunter made the pill he used the blue pill on regular people it didn't even let them to it didn't even get the demonization all it really did was、uh, get them make them like in rage mode As a consequence for gaining like all of your abilities enhanced. Hmm, is it like a different type of blue? Like maybe a dark blue? そして君は彼女の還元にそそのかされて再現のない力を求めるようになったわけだ<笑>違うな俺が力に焦がれるのはガキの頃から飲んだくれの親父が死んでから旧市街に一人放り出された喧嘩に明け暮れながら
Okay, I guess it was as simple as Mario though, being the one who came to him. I thought it, she had like Grim would do it. Or asked him to do it. Oh yeah, he's using like a boost like uh like Mark did. Oh no, Mark no, Kevin, I dang I don't remember what his name was. すべてを手に入れ、すべてを託した家族、故郷、未来何もかも力に絶望しつつ慣れ合いながらいつまでも生を生きていく。それが僕、マジヘミスピア。青の精霊、和紙ヘミスフィア。この金色の輝きを持って、君の力を折らせてもらう。覚悟はいいか。上等だよ。てめえという家を喰らうことで、俺の力。<笑> Start this off right. First in Curry. No, let's do it first. Alright, gonna chrono drive first. Then the crest. Forte. Okay, yeah, she's the one. Damn, I need the uh, space helmet. Oh, okay, he also has the weakness to it. Okay. Yeah, I'll just go for Dark Matter. Damn, the hammer resistance to it. Fuck. Oh, I should have done the. Fortuna. Yeah, it's probably better. Sophie. Yeah, I'll get Dark Matter ready. Once again, one more curve. After this.
we'll see when then I'll do this. Okay, that one I just messed up myself. I definitely could have done that better. I didn't have to die there, but I just made it more difficult. Yeah. Alright, let's go for the first one. Yeah, let's go for the fortune first. Damn. Next, Fortuna. Let's go with last, this is last, for sure, go for Golden Halo. Okay, then Breath. Okay, then another Dark Knight. This is four things. Think for a drive. And after this, Tia. Okay. Yep. Good thing I did it. Please tell me you can't break it. Okay, good. You can't. Thank God. What am I knowing if you guys are Yeah, I might actually need to burst over for this. Yep. I should. Alright, Randy. No, I need the one for CP. Oh, okay, here we go. Yep. 
There we go. Okay, that one didn't take as long. ちょっと元の姿に。よかった。よかった。<笑> <笑>君の力を扱う<笑> てめえ<笑> お疲れ。マジ。さすがに疲れたかな。おい。マジか。大丈夫かよ。スティグマの力を使うとどうしても反動があってね。さすがにちょっと飛ばしすぎたから。
この領域を解放したことになるはずだバルドは後で回収するとして一旦門のところに戻ろう分かった戻ってみようほらよ肩を貸すぜどうやら2つの領域を解放したからみてえだな<笑>これでやっと先に進めるようになったねその前にちょっと船に戻って休みたい気分だけどそうだなみんなへの報告もあるし一度メルカラに戻っても良さそうだ Way ahead of you, Lloyd. I need to get a CP charge anyway. Yep, still taking as many pictures as usual. Alright, let's see you real quick. Nice. Using the ship's armor and impact shields as a battery ram was a bold maneuver. Like I said, the ship only sustained a negligible amount of damage. So she wouldn't pose us any trouble. Or any problem if you'd like to withdraw from the Azure Tree and help head elsewhere for the time being. So we get the word and we'll depart. Well, thank you. I'm shocked at how pretty the Azure Tree is from the inside. With all things going so urgent right now, I feel like I could soak in the scenery for hours on end. What am I saying? This is no time to be relaxing. Sorry about that. Do your best out there, guys. We train you on from in here. The way all those lights are floating into that tree. Like a visual representation of the Oval Network. Now that I think about it, you all would have played a big part in the Croix family whole conspiracy, huh? Maybe the way the tree looks is no coincidence, no. It could be related to their big project somehow. But hey, that's all I've got. Leave the rest of the s l e e p with the you guys. Red Constellation is a soul ship almost geared the shorts off of me. I think I do is we still made it to the Azure Tree in one piece. Still, we can't guarantee that we've seen the last of the Beowulf. Anyone we leave on standby in the Makaba is gonna have to stay on guard. Now isn't the time to stop bannings. The only way to arrive at the truth is to take things one step at a time. However, time is still of the essence. There's no telling what effect the tree will have on Crosby in the long term. Facing McLean and Mr. Grimwood won't be easy. I know for a fact we'll prevail against them. Surely it's been a man eating tiger who gets on nothing but fighting for as long as I can remember. The only place that truly satisfied her is the battlefield, whether it's kill or be killed. I'm sure she's lying around confused out of her mind, wondering how she lost to Isha without even losing her life. Yeah, she almost seemed disappointed before she slipped out of consciousness. You, on the other hand, look a bit relieved, Randy. What's that? Well, Shirley may be crazy, but at the end of the day, she's still my cousin. To be honest, I figured she had it coming after everything she put Risha through. Guess she say thanks Miss Moon Princess for holding back a little, huh? Probably. Getting close to where I'll have to square things away with that monster I call an uncle, too. I'm gonna need your help when the time comes. Of course. We can do this as a team, the way we always do. The world that's formed inside the Azure Tree is beyond comprehension. Defies the laws of physics to a far greater extent than anything we encounter in the moon top of s a r g a z e s tower. The amount of common sense will benefit us in there. Must proceed with caution. Bloody Shirley. Dying her hands with blood at a young age is what earned her that name. She's the girl she is today because she revels in the chaos of the battlefield. Once again, I can't deny that the two of us shared a common interest. Do you still feel that way? No. To some extent, I know I've changed for the better. So, you, Ilya, and so many others who allowed me to. 
Everyone, you helped to shape me during my time at Crossbell. It's what ended up si setting me down the different path from Shirley, despite our similarities. Making friends with Fovis, you mean? When you put it that way, maybe it was fate that brought us all together. I wouldn't doubt it. It's through your help that I was able to settle things with Shirley. In return, I plan to fight alongside you all until this crisis is resolved. I might vow on that. Thank you, Risha. Couldn't ask for a better ally or friend. I saved Kia and returned to Ilya and the others with smiles on our faces. Wouldn't have it any other way. Good work out there, leader. Thanks. You feeling alright, though? You don't have to worry about me. Just enjoy a little cooldown time. There's always a little recoil when I use my powers, so I try to keep it, things in check if I can help it. Can't remember the last time I got that fired up. I could tell you were going all out during that fight with Walt. So because you had, you felt you had to? Right you are. If I'd gone full throttle on him from the start, maybe we'd have spared him all that torment. That sense what happened to him is my responsibility. 100%. Was he? Shouldn't? It's fine. I don't regret the decision I made. Well, at least I won if it winds up teaching me something. Besides, I settled the score. I did it on my own terms. And with that, the final cha chapter of Wazi Hemispheres, the leader of Testaments, is ending. I owe each of you my thanks for helping me write it. And I'm glad you gave us the chance to be a part of it. We still have formidable enemies ahead of us, you know. Hope this doesn't mean you're pulling out a fight. And then dream of it, leader. From here on, the Ninth Dominion of the Cross Raider is at your disposal as a member of the SSS. Cool. Alright, let's get back out there. I want to at least clear the other floors that'll take us before the next two uh, gates open. Oh, I'm guessing maybe it's gonna be like an elevator here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a different monster this time. Well, at least they're still surprising us.
I'm gonna go back for that one chest because like there's no way I can just ignore it. It was right there. And I at least have Randy at this much CP, so should be able to deal with it. First let me save. Okay, yeah, so this is hers. The other one was, uh, Dudley's, right? Alright, cool. Let's see, what was the other one I got? Not Zero Breaker, it was, uh, it should be down here. Diabolos, I think it was.
I just need to put it on because I need uh, Tio to use Galleon Tower. Oh, am I so lucky that guard was on there? I would have actually lost it. And yes, I did notice. I didn't go through that uh, white door that was just straight up ahead from where we were. I didn't know if it was like something important or not, so I just decided to leave it be. Because I doubt it would have been like to the next floor. Yes, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that chest all the way at the end. I completely forgot. Alright, give me a second, I'll go do it. Need to get all the cool ass weapons and ornaments that I can before we finish the game. Alright, first let me heal Randy real quick. Yeah. Alright, that should be good. Gonna save again. Sociobomb EX and Apocalypse. Let's go. Alright. Switch that. Thank you. Nice. Alright, what does this say? Chief Roberts recently put Tio in charge of porting Pom Pom Party to a brand new portable console. She calls it the Tio Geo Pocket. <laughs> nice. Alright, let me say before we do this. Give me another crazy one. Another freaking, uh. Damn it, what was it called again? I don't even remember by now. I really should.
Yes, got a burst orb from him. Let's go. Oh, okay. This is the downstairs, right? Okay, let me do this first. Oh, I see. So this is how I get back. Yeah, I see. Clever. I honestly wouldn't have thought of that. Okay, so we're supposed to connect to this later. That must be the, uh, the other thing. Nope. All right, I'm ready for it. Just give me some tier bombs for the team. No, I'll use the regular tier bombs. I can waste those. Because I don't really do minimal healing anymore. All right, almost there. Perfect. Or no, one more. Yeah, for Randy. All right, we're all set. Save once again, even though I probably won't die, but just in case. Jupiter team, okay. Though it has it up and down, I'm grateful for the opportunity to work on these two games gave me. Oh, so he, these are messages from uh, people who were part of this project, right? Cool. I'm glad we're having more of that here. I think we maybe had it in the other game, but I honestly can't remember. Like, for the life of me, I can't. But at least now we're at the top of the Everglade. I just want to see who we're going to have to go up against next. And then I'll probably leave it at that. And again, maybe I'll do some grinding off stream over the week. Just to get more items and then we'll be ready for it. Whoever's gonna be next upstairs. Alright, let's go. Seriously, this is cool. Like, I definitely... I mean, there was a bit more, like, detail to, uh, the Vermilion Castle, but I honestly like this place a lot better. Just because the way it's, like, five floor or end as such, and then you get there, but it's like you're using the entire area. Like, we're going outside. Like, sure, we could see out the window, but it's like, that was pretty vague. But, like, here we're actually seeing the entirety of the tree. I like it. Alright, here we go. Only one? <laughs> yeah, 
力から判断する限り俺たちの勝ち目は薄いだろう確かに実戦経験に違いすぎるねもうガラスだ噂には聞いていましたがだがこれで全員が勝つ俺たちは前に進めねえ自信を切り取る2年前につけられなかったけじめ
go. What is this? Bonbons, really? <laughs> I mean, they do seem hyperactive and vicious. Sweet. Alright. Come on. Yes, 108 across the board. Could I hit level 120? I don't think I'll be able to, but I'll get close anyway. Okay, this guy is holy shit, he has a ton of HP. Seriously, what the hell? How does he have this much? Dude, this thing's damaging this guy. What the hell? I mean, I know the Jaeger, uh, like, uh, the Jaeger raised animals are strong, but this is fucking ridiculous. Thank you, but we didn't need it. I'll take the defense boost. Let's just go for a free smash. He did not do much. Thank goodness. Seriously, that was like a mid-level boss. I wonder how the crystals here are going. Is it gonna turn off the flames? I mean, I doubt it, but who knows? Oh, I actually can't move. Oh, because they're attached to the ground. I see. That's how that works. Yeah, that would actually make a lot of sense. Perfect. Yes, they're frozen. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, I see. So now I can actually break that. Wait, what path does that take me to? I wasn't there before. No. I get that from here. Okay, here we go. And now I can go that way. Yep. Oh, it was actually scared of me. I'm actually lucky that happened, though. Nice power smash. Oh my god, I missed. Come on. Okay, well at least you stopped it there. Can I stay hidden? Did I just the right time? Perfect. Oh, okay, so that's why I was... Alright. Wow, that's it? Nice. Damn, this thing is hot. Can I wait till the next one? Yep.
Could go with this. And then I would give Wazi the seven dragons.
してくださいああお任せを Catastrophe. Not gonna give it. Oh, yeah. Six foot. That's 90. Let's go. And still percentage of health burn. Take that. Then I'll use two more two bombs. And I'll leave some for Alicia. Who needs the EP charge two for Randy? Alright, we're good. Alright, so let's see about the X and we're almost at level 110. Damn, they're starting to run out of things for this. Alright, good, we're almost there. But I need Randy to hit 120 CP. So I'm gonna get us back out there. Just so that I can get it. We really do need it, especially for Ziggy. I'm 
Okay, now we're ready. Good. Everybody's 200 CP. We're all healed up. Sweet. Alright. Time for the final battle of the day. I'm gonna have you take it away, Randy. Let's do this. Time to beat this old man once and for all.
その二人が相打ちになった後では、俺が最強と言えるかもしれない。悪、現時点では、ランドルフ、もはやお前も気づいているはずだ。この黒スベルの状況とエレボニア帝国の乱れによって大陸は激動の時代を迎えた。今まで
I see what he's trying to do, and it's true, because like as long as it usually it's for the highest bidder, but if Randy, the literal heir, was to command something, the rest wouldn't deny it because his strength would be absolute at that point. However, in the process, he'd lose that last shred of humanity he still had left. But that's all for the better for the Red Constellation. It's an interesting offer to give to Randy of all people, especially since it means if he only hurts himself to protect everyone else. Then back then, when he had left us, he probably would have accepted the offer. Now I beg to differ. さんから草さが移ったのかな。この足場を持って俺の棒に抗わせてもらう。失礼します。修羅として生きるしかなかった俺自身を。けじめだ。ランディ。なんて時。いいだろう。その頼りなき足場を持って貴様の抗いを認めよう。だが分かっているだろう。そこまで生きたからにはもはや手加減はできぬ。望むところだ。親父とあんたから学んだ戦術を持てる力の全てをかける。打ち止めさせてもらう。面白い。ならば俺は貴様を食らって闘神を継ぐことにしよう。<笑> 不敵の息子を持った兄貴への全ての民を倒けとしてな。さあ、受けてみろ。戦場を喰らい、蹂躙し尽くす。大ガロその総戦部を。来るわ。迎撃開始。全力で。
Damn, that was actually pretty tough. Hmm, I think the best course of action would be to uh, give Tio the thing to do a uh, water art. So let me return to the save point, then I'll change it. I really love how they put Aryan Road's theme in here. It's awesome.
Oh, come on. Okay, I have to remember that before, right, uh, after he uses craft guard, that's when he, uh, uses his move, right? I think that's what's going on. Alright, Randy, please get back up. We're probably dead. Yeah, we're dead. Yep. Oh my god, I actually survived. Alright, fine, try again. Survive? Fuck. No, 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 no. Damn it. No, it's still going. Thank you. No, not again. I hate this stupid pattern. Shit. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of, because losing that means I can't use Celestial anymore. Shit. Yeah, I'm done for. Because either I heal Tio and I live, but even then it's like, he still has many more attacks, so I might as well just attack anyway. Oh, he actually survived. Yep, then died. Let's keep going.
Sorry guys, I've just been so focused in this battle right now. I'm finally in a good position. I just can't lose it now. Let's get Crest. Forte. Aka Mirage. Fortuna. Got one more on the Forte for the road. Alright, let's go. Yes, let's go. Come on. We can still do it. Yes. 
Oh, come on, dude. That's not even funny. Dude, he gets to do it twice in a row. What the fuck, man? That's ridiculous. I finally made it to that point. Shit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm. All right. It's getting pretty late, so I think we're gonna end the stream here for now, guys. Sorry I didn't get to finish it off with a win, but I want to try to figure some things out. I know I could have used the the rune of strength to increase the uh, negate, but it's like the healing would also been a problem, and I need to see how I can pattern that out. If if I finish it off stream, well then that's just how it is, because. Uh, Honestly, I have no idea how long it would actually take to actually finish that battle. Because Aryan Road was one thing, but this one, he also has a craft guard this time around. So that's also going to be more tricky to deal around. And these spawns are like, their health is hella strong. You would think like, at least for him, he would fight by himself. But the fact that he has monsters with him on the side, that's actually going to be really tough for me to have to work around. So that's why I'm going to test... Or I'm at least going to try to test over the weekend. If not, then who knows. Maybe that's what the whole stream will be for uh, for Saturday. But anyway, guys, thanks for showing up today. Big shout out to Yukiya19 and RinyuEF for showing up to the stream. It's been, it was fun chatting with you guys today. Now remember, tomorrow we still have uh, Honkai Star Rail. Hope you guys are excited. I'm almost at a rank, a, the Traveler Ring 24. I'm right now 23. I'm going to try to grind tonight with the leftover time I have for today to do that. And again, hopefully the schedule will still be the same as always. Anyway, this has been Zantos Vice. Remember to leave a, uh, to leave a follow. You enjoy the content. Uh, check out the YouTube channel for any of the uh, old VODs from Honkai Star Rail and uh, Trails in the Sky. I'm about to start editing some of the uh, the, the uh, VODs from uh, Trails of Cold Steel. So hopefully that will be ready, I don't know, maybe in a week or two. I'm going to see how that goes. But anyway, guys, see you guys next time.